Good evening, Hyper RPG. Yes. And welcome to He Left It Dead, a Call of Cthulhu RPG. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to be doing this. I'm really excited to be uh, behind the GM chair uh, table, on the GM chair, behind the table. Um, spooky and scary is a little out of my wheelhouse, so it's been fun to get super weird. Uh, I'm super excited to be doing this with you guys. Uh, with with Sweet Coop and, and <laughs> Tim and Emma and Zach. I'm the Antichrist. Yeah. Oh, I know. No, I'm excited uh, to be judged by my boss here at Hyper RPG <laughs> the entire time we play. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Here's a little bit about uh, how the game works. Uh, first of all, uh, again, welcome to the show. Uh, this is an RPG system called Call of Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. uh, Asterix some house rules <laughs> uh, attached. Uh, if you want to interact with the show, uh, we've got some tipping incentives. You guys can see those in the uh, the rotating overlay that's sort of below me. Let me go through those with you guys so you can sort of figure out uh, what they mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can tip $25 with hashtag reroll to give the players rerolls, basically. Uh, they'll be pulled. Rolling is not the easiest in this game like it's mm -hmm. real it's so easy to just fail constantly so those mm -hmm. will really help our players mm -hmm. uh, get out of pinches get out of rooms walk with two feet one get after the other, other yeah exactly things like that uh, so you can tip $30 with hashtag sanity uh, this will cause a player to have some kind of flashback to reclaim some sanity Excellent. Uh, uh -huh. in the amount of 1d4 plus one so uh, the big game mechanic of this is uh, these guys start with a uh, uh, X amount of sanity and encounters throughout the game will cause that to lower uh, to their detriment and uh, things will go absolutely bonkers uh, and this is your chance to sort of help them level level out a little bit calm down uh, their sanity can't cap over their max you can't get more sane than you are so you know uh, be strategic with these if someone's got a max sanity of 90 and they're at an 88 you know Maybe wait uh, for a minute. Wait, does someone have a max sanity of 90? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> I, I, they shouldn't. Um, I certainly don't. Uh, 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 conversely, you can tip $35 with hashtag insanity to take, away some san to take away some sanity from a player. Uh, this will give them some kind of traumatic flashback or encounter in the game, which will uh, dip them 1d4 deeper uh, into the madness. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with that one. Uh, you can also tip $50, $50 with hashtag phobia to give a character a phobia of your choice. Oh I put that boy. in for you, Matt. Um, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Perfect, perfect. I, I fully expect this game to be 20% what I have planned and 80% whatever you guys do to Matt. Uh, <laughs> this, this will also, because of this sudden onset of such a severe phobia, will reduce their sanity by a quarter uh, <gasps> for oh, a certain crap. amount of time, oh, which in addition to a sanity leads to all sorts of other bad things. Uh, you can tip $75 with hashtag crime to create a gruesome crime that plagues the players or the town. Ooh, um, mm -hmm. Or okay. you can tip $100 with hashtag GM to add a story beat of your own. Now, all of this stuff is, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing my best to conduct this weird thing. Uh, so I'll be sort of doing my best to yes and with you guys as storytellers. Things might not suddenly happen, uh, but we'll definitely get so them in there. So something just came in. That was the sound. Oh, okay, Whoa. perfect. That is That's the spooky. sound. That's spooky time. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For example, Shadow Uzumaki donated. Uh, it begins. Hashtag insanity. Um, give it to Zach. Um, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> let, me make a, let me make a note that uh, you are starting poorly. Um, Excellent. With that, guys, uh, after awesome. the show, tune in to Magic the Gathering with Zach, Matt, Zach, Matt and uh, Matt Sohinki. That's going to be a lot of fun. And um, I think that's it. Are you guys yeah. ready to just jump into this thing? Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. figure stuff For out. Real. Okay, let's, let's figure yeah. this out do. together. I'm ready. Uh, again, guys, welcome to He Left It Dead, Episode 1, The Gathering at Stanton House. So, um, all of our players are arriving at the Stanton House, which is this big, uh, beautiful manor in London. It's this two-story home. It's on a large, you know, well-scaped, well-landscaped property, several hundred acres. You know, one of those places where now, if you're visiting, this is one of the tourist places that you would go visit now. Um, but back then, uh, it, was, it was the home of a Lord Richard Hayes. He is the gentleman who has summoned you all. All of you have worked with him before in some uh, capacity 
or another. Uh, he runs a group uh, called the British Society of Anglican Deeds, um, which you guys have all worked with before. This is a, a, a Christian group that works outside the church in order to do good. And sometimes that means you have uh, hunted a murderer. Sometimes that means you have investigated a possession, things like that. You guys have all uh, worked with Richard Hayes in some capacity or another. Um, so we're going to start outside the house on the walk up. Um, two people who have never met, two strangers, um, have just connected on the front walk up. Emma, would you introduce your character? Absolutely, yes. So uh, as you know, the, the camera pans on these people on the walk up, you see a girl, she's a little sickly looking. She walks with a cane, she's very pale and blonde, uh, and she wears a, a large hat and spectacles and slowly makes her way towards the manor. Uh, her name is Lorna McAllister. She hails from Inverness, and uh, she is a distant cousin of a uh, prestigious family of vampire hunters, but unfortunately uh, she herself uh, does not have the physical capacity to do what they do, but she is obsessed with the occult and supporting them in their endeavors. Okay, okay. And set the stage one more time. Um, Certainly. We are in the nice part of town, obviously. Yes. Uh, what time of year, what time of day is this? Uh, it's it's autumn. Uh, it's, a, it's a crisp night. It's, it's cool out. Um, it's not quite dinner time yet. It's not quite evening yet. We're sort of on the cusp of a late afternoon. Uh, the sun is low in the sky. It's going down, but I wouldn't quite call it night yet. Right. And as that sun is sort of flirting uh, with the horizon, uh, Lorna finds herself sort of meeting uh, in this walkway with a gentleman she's never met before. Zach, would you introduce your character? Uh, I'll just... Uh, hi. I'm Peter. Peter. Hello yes. there. And I'm uh, fairly tall, bulky, uh, pretty ragged, run down, and... Uh, I look very small next to him. <laughs> I've seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems to be putting it lightly. Well, uh, Zach, as you were introducing yourself, <laughs> would you go ahead and roll <laughs> uh, a 1d4 plus 1 for me, please? Five. <laughs> okay. Um, Lorna, this gentleman has walked up to you and sort of out of nowhere, maybe a little weird, a little off-putting, without saying anything else, he has just said, Hi, I'm Peter, out of, <laughs> out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, he's just kind of staring past you, uh, which you're a little used there's, to because you're... There's you're, some woods uh, in the background. Like sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the woods on the property. He's just kind of staring past you directly, directly at the trees. Suddenly, the guy just seems... A little off. Peter? Yes. Uh, it seems hi, I lost you there for a moment. Peter. Yes, you've already introduced yourself. I'm called Lorna. Great. I assume that you're also an associate of Lord Richards. Not exactly. Okay. You've been summoned here as well. Yes. So, as the two of you are sort of walking up in what is easily the best first impression conversation <laughs> that you've ever had. Easily. Um, you find that there's almost a, 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 not a crowd, but there are more people at the front door sort of making their mm. way into the Stanton house than you would expect. Um, I think you were maybe expecting sort of a, a private meeting uh, with Lord Hayes. Uh, clearly that is not the case. There's some kind of larger event going on. Uh, there's a doorman sort of checking in with people. Um, and for now, I'm going to leave you outside the house. <laughs> oh, that's a great music cue. Uh, or that was a great sound cue. Very period. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Let's see here. Uh, I, uh, Logan Parr says, I want to see someone eat a hat. So hashtag sanity for Zach. So go ahead and roll oh. 1d4 to see what you get back. 
Uh, we also have Totally Not Guy and Keen 456. I see what you've done there. We'll get there in just a moment. I promise that I see it. Um, so um, are we still sticking with the flashbacks associated with those? Yes, but I think for, for the, the beginning of the game, we'll sort of get everybody get in, and then we'll, yeah, and then you we'll get it. going. Uh, we're going to move in into the house. There is, there's a, there's a gathering going on. Um, it feels like a cocktail party, which is a little unusual for um, a house this formal. Uh, it's a little unusual for you know it's going on dinner, but people are coming in. Uh, there are people gathered all over the manor, talking, you know, clustered up, speaking. People maybe are a little confused that they're not just being, like, called into a dining room and, you know, so there's a little, you know, uh, they're, they're stuffy Victorian British people. Like, oh, I don't understand what's happening, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and that is where we find, um, standing quietly but attentive and even though she might not be saying a lot, is clearly in command of this circle of folks that are just sitting and making chit-chat. Kim, would you introduce your character, please? Yes. Um, there is a human, human woman, uh, late 20s. Would have been weird if she was a half-orc. Half-orc. <laughs> Much different game. Damn it, that's my... <laughs> I'm that's, out. That's my um, twist. <laughs> that's my, <laughs> my twist. I'm a half-orc. <laughs> um, no, human woman standing in the front of this crowd. She's in her late 20s. She's dressed very ornately. Uh, she's just taken off her riding hat that she was wearing um, as she was entering the manor, um, as well as her gloves. Okay. Her name is Apollonia Wayworth. And as Apollonia sort of stands, uh, you know, doing some polite chit chat with these folks, um, they, it's not that she doesn't belong, but it's very clear that maybe people are a little tense around her. They don't know quite what to do with her, necessarily. But regardless of that, she is clearly in charge of this room. Uh, to contrast that, uh, we're going to move from uh, the opening of the house, uh, past the staircases that lead upstairs to sort of the residential area of the house, um, into the ballroom uh, towards the back of the house. It's a beautiful much larger room clearly held for gatherings, ceremonies. Um, the back wall is almost entirely floor to ceiling glass, which of course looks out to this beautiful landscape backyard, gazebos, the woods, that sort of thing. Uh, a lot more people uh, in this room. And even though there are more people in this area and more people um, than were standing around her, standing around this gentleman, you get the immediate sense that this man, no matter how many people are around him, is alone in every sense of the word. Matt, would you introduce your character? Uh, yeah. Um, so standing there trying to keep the conversation going, um, he doesn't like it when there's, it's too quiet. He is a man um, named James Cullen. He is wearing um, he's wearing a, a, a collar, black collared shirt with a vest. Uh, he's got some sweet glasses. Um, and he actually has a little fedora as well, like a black fedora. And he's got like his little gristled, like five o'clock shadow going on. Okay. It's very okay. avant garde with this fashion. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, as we sort of meet him, uh, Matt, several uh, several viewers, thank you guys very much. Uh, Devaro31 and uh, Totally Not Guy and King456 um, have sort of teamed up in a donation. And uh, you have a, uh, please note it, it's going to be permanent, I think, um, a phobia <laughs> of uh, a pumpkin spice? <laughs> Tight. <laughs> Tight. So d d dessert is going to be weird for you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. And uh, we're not going to go do it quite yet, but uh, his sanity problems will be coming. <laughs> I promise oh you. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> It's going to be great. As I'm drinking pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin spice coffee. We've set the stage a little bit. Um, going to pop back outside. You guys have been in line for a moment. Maybe you've been trying to continue this weird conversation. Maybe you've just I been don't. standing. Okay. You've just been If standing. she's talking, I don't hear it. I... Seems to be much more of a to-do than I'd anticipated. Normally known Lord Hayes to be more of the one-on-one -on -one sort, at least when it comes to work things. I'm sorry, what? I was just saying that 
as I was under the impression. Why are we waiting? It's... I I don't <coughs> know. <coughs> There's a shorter man, a uh, little more your height, uh, sort of stout, very, very unhappy looking gentleman. Uh, You've never, uh, even in previous visits and, and dealings with Lord Hayes, you've never seen this man before. Uh, but, you know, well-dressed suit, um, very well put together. Doesn't look like he's necessarily part of the help. Um, but uh, says, uh, 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 Masters uh, Cullen and uh, Lady McAllister. <laughs> Lady? <laughs> I Miss, I apologize. No, it's quite all right. I like it, actually. <laughs> Uh, please, uh, go ahead and, uh, come inside. I apologize that you... Why am I here? Be... Did you summon me? Well, obviously, uh, Lord Hayes did. I represent Lord Hayes. I'm just here to make sure that you don't, you know, stand in this line. I've not seen your face before. My name is Pen. Pen. I'm new. Uh, please. And he's sort of, um... Not, in, not roughly, but definitely sort of like there's a lady who's just like... You know, ah, it's very cold, and I haven't waited as long as it's supposed <laughs> to be dinner. And he kind of just goes, <laughs> pushes her out of the way, sort of Kay. opening Mr. up the door Tonic for you guys. Mr. University hopes you'll attend our uh, open house for alumni and what remains of their families. Have four hashtag re-roll as a parting gift. Okay, thank you, Alumni Association, very much. You guys have four uh, banked uh, re-rolls. Excellent. So. Okay. Excellent. Okay, sweet. As Those will I definitely come in handy. I walk this man into the manor, I kind of... Just give him a good sniff as I walk by. He doesn't smell weird. Uh, and if... Well, you know what? Uh, well, well, I guess what was the purpose of the smell? <laughs> are, you, uh, are you actually trying to like... I just want to know if I can smell death on him or not. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just give this one to you. Um, this is not necessarily a, a clean-handed man. Okay. Okay. Clean handed man. <laughs> uh so you two have, yes. have entered um sort of the uh the initial sort of open uh space of the manor. Um this is where Apollonia is sort of standing. Uh I'm gonna give you guys a moment to just, you know, look around the party. Uh there's folks everywhere, you can sort of overhear things. Uh small talk, chit chat. In general, this doesn't seem as happy as an occasion, as perhaps an event like this should be. Uh, that's not surprising. Uh, you guys know, based on your summons, as to why you're here. Uh, London is uh, has been completely taken aback. Um, the, the current news story, every day there's new news. The number keeps growing. Uh, 25 children now uh, have vanished off the streets over the past two months that are known of. Um, this wasn't as much of a story um, until it hit, you know, maybe 15, but that was also because these were poor children, these were commoners' children, these were homeless children. Uh, the moment that um, uh, this issue, you know, obviously crossed economic lines. Mm -hmm. Now it's a thing. Yeah, now it's a thing. Um, the police have no leads. Uh, they're not even calling them kidnappings. Uh, people talking about it now have given it sort of the rude nickname of uh, the vanishings because that's what the police have been calling these. Uh, another child has vanished because they, they just they don't know um, what to do. They have no lead. So that that's probably a lot of the conversation, but I want to give you guys a moment to just sort of uh, wheel around the house and um, see what you can see. Okay. We're in the ballroom area so you've right sort of, now? Yeah, so you've sort of entered. There's this, okay. big, there's this big foyer. Mm -hmm. uh, then you sort of see these uh, staircases that go up in either direction. Then there's a large uh, double door that leads uh, directly in to the ballroom. Okay. Uh, there's, you know, there's house to the left of you, house to the right of you. Um, but yeah, you're sort of in this foyer. There's lots of folks sort of there. Their coats are being taken by staff and okay. things like that. I want to look around the room and see if there's anybody that I recognize from past associations with Lord Hayes. Um, sure. You know what? Uh, I'm going to go the Burt Jennings way. And <laughs> who knows? Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, would you roll for me mm -hmm. your 
Uh, it's not necessarily the point of this skill, but sure. since we don't necessarily have a strong uh, perception yeah. uh, skill, go ahead and roll your go ahead and roll your spot hidden for me. Spot hidden. And folks, for the drama of the dice, the way this works is um, she has to. I roll. failed that. Okay, you failed that. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so what, what was your skill? So I, my skill is. 25 okay. and I rolled a 70. Okay, so, so for a success, she has to hit her skill number or under. Yes. Um, it's and it's even harder to <laughs> hit a critical <laughs> in this game. Yes. Uh, she would have had to have rolled a, a one. Yes. Um, uh, a roll of 100 or higher is a total fumble, uh, and everything goes to hell. Um, would you like to um, to push that check? Uh, you guys have the option. If you failed a skill roll, you can yeah. you can you can push it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like ah, I'm not done with this. I gotta get this to happen. Yeah. And that's just going to be a second skill roll at the same, you know, difficulty check. But to be warned, like there are consequences for then failing that push. Right. Um. Uh. No, I'm not gonna push that roll. Okay. Yeah. I uh, just look around and there's nobody. Okay. That sort I recognize. Just, just, just nosing around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you you two would at this point be uh, in the same room as Apollonia. So if uh, if you take any notice of these two, you know, oddballs. Is there a bar? <laughs> there is no, so the odd thing uh, that you'll notice is again people have been muttering about how why aren't we in the dining room? There are there are standing tables set up throughout the house, mm -hmm. uh, and there are servers walking around with drinks. Um, which everyone just feels is a little odd, like it's a garden party inside, and that's just not done. Um, so not necessarily a bar, but if you definitely walk up to a table, someone will have a drink in your hand shortly. Great. I'm going up to a table then and waiting for someone to get me a drink. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Uh, a, um, a servant walks by, and they just have um, uh, red wine. Hmm. Um, Acceptable. Okay. I'm standing at a window looking outside watching this just sunset. Okay, just dramatically looking outside. I sure. wouldn't call it dramatic. I just find no interest in these people. Sure. Okay. Cool. Now, Lord Hayward's staff knows what I like to drink, yes? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You right. are um, you are a VIP here. Um, and uh, throughout the night, uh, your glass of... Right now, it's scotch. Of scotch has not been empty. All right. So, uh, conversation, uh, Apollonia, around you has... I don't know. It's 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 interesting because um, people seem like they don't want to walk away from you. Mm -hmm. Maybe whether it's out of fear of offending you or whatever that is. But conversation has sort of gotten awkward and slow. That sort of like you no, know, you hang up level of uh, right. this mm -hmm. should have ended a moment ago. Um, I'm studying one person. And who would that be? What was your name again? Oh, uh, 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 there's a um, sort of a short kind of like um, wiry man mm -hmm. uh, sort of standing in, and he almost seems surprised that you've even uh, uh, taken notice of him. And Hello. He's like, uh, uh, Albert, man. Uh, Albert. Uh, <laughs> uh, Finney. Finney is my name. Albert Albert Finney would be my whole name if you put the Albert first and the, and the last name Finney. together. Yeah. Where are you from? I can't place your accent. Uh, oh, hey. Here or there, um, uh, 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 above game. I don't do regional accents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as long as it doesn't sound southern, it's British to me. Um, and he's like, oh, uh, uh, right here in London, actually. Uh, is oh. city, uh, Cambridge boy, uh, actually, by, uh, by, by way of, uh, of the city. And um, uh, just uh, 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 just a pleasure to, to be your acquaintance, uh, of course, uh, uh, as a, uh, a member of... Uh, of the British Society of Anglican Deeds, uh, again, well, uh, w welcome, and it is uh, a, a pleasure. Ple ple thank you for being here. You're welcome. Charmed, I'm sure. Mm. Uh, and he's kind of. Uh, will that be all, man? Yes. Oh, uh, I'm going to. And he sort of points at his, his drink is already full. Uh, but he's. So I'm going to just. Uh, uh, and he sort of uh, starts to walk and walks directly into a server. There's a kerfuffle, oh. things spill. So there's this huge sort of loud, loud crashing sound. Am I still in the other room? Oh. Yes. Uh, right. You don't have to be. Does this alarm me, I this loud crashing? It's up to you. Yeah, I, I walk, I, I, I hear, I, I think I hear it in the other room. Mm -hmm. Like I hear a crash and I just walk back into this room to okay. kind of yeah. see what's going on here. I also, 
hobble over in the direction of the crash. <laughs> okay. I see the, the boy on the floor. Or is he on the uh, cupboard and stuff? Yeah, this gentleman. Yeah, it's a it's an older gentleman, uh, just sort of small and wire. Uh, the uh, I, I would consider the servant a uh, boy, younger boy. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, definitely uh, in Downton Abbey terms, uh, a new day player, not a uh, mm-hmm. not a reoccurring yet. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, so yeah, he's he's covered in 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 red wine, oh. uh, and this gentleman, of course, is uh, he's trying to be polite, but he's also very flustered and British, and it's this poor person's fault that just you know he he, he is what he is. Yeah. Um, so he he's flustered and sort of politely scolding the boy, Ben. But yeah, there's some broken glass on the ground and some wine. And, um, I uh, take the older gentleman. I just kind of, you know, mm-hmm. I want to, like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Can I kind of bring you over here? We should have a little conversation. Let the boy clean up the mess, and we can. Uh, I, I'd love to talk to you about about. And what, what are your hobbies? Are? Do you, I just try to like, uh, move hob- him away. Ho- hobbies. Yes. Uh, I, just, <laughs> um, I, I love uh, boats, and uh, and he just for whatever reason just immediately <laughs> he just la- launches into like a boats. Oh, uh, do tell me about the boats uh, that you've been on. Yes. Oh well, you know, obviously as a, as, a, uh, as a veteran of Her, Her Majesty's Navy, oh, you know, veteran, all, all, yes. all sorts of you know vessels. You know the 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 uh, uh, the, 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 the you know I thought I recognized you. Oh, uh, a service man yourself. I am a service man. Yes, I am. Oh, well then, uh, salute you. Uh, yeah, uh, salute uh, you as well, uh, sir. Yeah, very much. Um, Hashtag crime. A local musician was killed in a murder most foul. <laughs> Some suspect his lover. Okay. Some suspect his wife. Um. Uh, Is his name Coop? <laughs> his name was Coop. So. <laughs> With an uh, S. Coops. <laughs> Are the Nick McNickersons a thing here? Um, uh, not yet. <laughs> so, okay. So this guy is so, sort of uh, chatting with you. Yes. Um, that would be your cue to leave, lad. Go on. Pick up this mess and get out of here. Oh, bless you, man. And he's sort of like this kid sort of like gathering up his stuff. And he's like, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He leaves. Uh, this has all happened in front of you. Um... Uh, there's a, as this is going on, there's a, there's a lady sort of just standing, talking to her bridge club sort of near you. And, you know, of course she's like, all this trouble over, uh, children go missing their children. Boys will be boys and, uh, ruffian girls will be ruffian girls. Uh, but when, when they were taken, excuse me, they were taken. I don't, I, I, I don't rem- I ex- exactly remember. Uh, taken, of course. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. People Are aren't, you daft? People aren't just taken. No, I'm not daft. I'm very troubled. I'm very troubled because I'm very, very troubled because the choir director that my husband had lined up months ago to come and direct carols at our Christmas party was recently murdered, and the police <laughs> are so busy with these runaway children that they don't seem to be concerned. <laughs> so... Your party was ruined, and that's more important than children's lives. <sighs> and she just huffs off. Uh, and her friends just kind of, this is obviously like the uh, Victorian sort of like gray-haired sort of mean girls contingent. And they just uh, like just don't want to be. And everyone's, everyone's sort of around that sort of saw that exchange. Uh, there's a little too much emotion, a little too much honesty, and a little too much bluntness in it, which is not a thing in this area at this time. Everyone kind of takes about ten steps away from you. Uh, as they're looking, I'm, I'm not from around here. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Um, so uh, you're sort of on your own over there. Um, uh, the three of you have sort of found yourselves uh, standing together. <sighs> Mr. Finney likes chains. That's my guess. Oh. Who likes chains? Never mind. Oh dear. Oh. Well, I oh, only I... thought I overheard him say something about boats. Oh. Everyone has a preferred delicacy. Now, Lorna, you are not in London often or in and out kind of regularly? In and or? out, yeah. Okay. Um, so you would not necessarily recognize uh, Apollina. Um, James, you would. Uh, 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 is she? Do I know it's? it's do I? Is she like? You know Mary? her by right? Like, no, do I, you, would I pronounce her like so, formally? Or? Yeah. So you would know Apollina by um, or uh, Lady Wayworth, whatever, however you want to refer. You would know her because of your your lines of work sort of intersect. Uh, she is the owner of a. Has he? Hmm? Has he ever visited the Nightingale? Possibly. I'll let you go ahead and make that decision. Uh, she is the owner of a club called the Nightingale, uh, which is. It's a gentleman's club. It's a yeah. To be. To be polite, it is a gentleman's club. Um, 
It's, it's one of those places, if you're sort of working on an upper tier case and you need to find a guy who might know a thing, that might be where you go. Oh, Lady, Lady Wayworth, yes, I, I thought I, I recognized you. I, yeah, I, I'm familiar with your line of... Mr. Cullen, hello. Yes, hello. Uh, what brings you about here? The company. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, see, uh, do you find it strange that everybody keeps referring to these, to these missing children as... Uh, just Vanished. I feel like this. It doesn't give it enough significance. No. It? Vanish. It's an accurate description, but it's quite clear that they've been taken. Right. Exactly. The press has a flair for the theatrical. Uh, that's true. That's true. If, if I know things that they would report about the war, then that's true. Always on about the war, Mr. Cullen. Yes. Well, you know, I I carried a lot with me when I went to law enforcement, but. That didn't seem to suit me either, so now I'm uh, doing my own thing. No, you always show up to the Nightingale alone. You never stay for long. Well, it's sometimes uh, it's best to go in, in and out to look to see if you could see, spot someone. You know, maybe I'm there not for pleasure, but for work. Forgive me, but what's the Nightingale? A business love. Right then. Uh, please. Forgive my rudeness. I'm oh, yes. uh, I'm Lorna McAllister. Lorna McAllister. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, I uh, I am someone who has an acute interest in the occult. Hence my association with Lord Hayes. I assume that perhaps you've got some sort of similar connection. Oh, yes, we see, uh, we all seem to be a little bit connected with him in, ma in many ways, and to me, I just, you know, I, I, I got the invitation, and I thought I'd just come by, and maybe, uh, maybe I could see what everyone's up to. Well, the fact that neither of you balked at the idea that these children had been taken, it says enough. But do you really think it's a part of some occult plan? And as you sort of look, there's a man next to you, um... Brown-haired, handsome guy, uh, kind of thin, you know, average, not necessarily a remarkable uh, looking gentleman. He has a drink in his hand, uh, kind of gives you a nod. And um, if you'd notice him sort of step up before, he, he sort of started to take interest in the conversation when you asked what the Nightingale was. He's, oh. uh, you know, those moments where um, you find you're in in a conversation <laughs> with strangers. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, he just says, uh, I'm out of town. Mostly. Hmm. Well, uh, welcome to Stanton House. Cheers. Cheers. Thank cheers, you for coming. Cheers. And yes. your name is? Uh, Dotson, uh, ma'am. Charles. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Charles. That was my father's name. Mm. It's a good name. Good solid name. So I'm told. Is he well dressed? Is he? Is he a guest? Is he? Um. Yes. Uh, he's a guest. Very well. Very well <laughs> dressed. Mm. Uh, very well off. Um, he has a um on his lapel. Uh, a button which you would recognize as he's a member of the Society of Anglican Deeds, uh, like uh, Richard Hayes. All right. And when did you begin your acquaintance with Lord Hayes, Mr. Dawson? Oh, recently. Um, eh, you know, you, you you move to a new city, you sort of float in and out of uh, you know different social groups until until you really find your place. And I've, I'm recently acquainted with. Um, uh, the Society of, uh, of Anglican Deeds. Uh, thank God. Just here to do some good. Yeah, so we all are. Not sure God has anything to do with it. Oh, but he does. He does. He absolutely does. Uh, no matter what seems to be happening here on the street, he, uh, there's a... Um, whether it's a plan or fate or not, I don't know. I'll leave that up to the Pope or, <laughs> you know, whatever other religious thinkers want to sit in that particular carriage. But for me, I'm... Happy to know that there's a power there working for us in, it's in these dark times. And what would you speculate is the reason that all these children have gone missing? Ah, well, fortunately, not my job. That's uh, what uh, you three and I think, and he kind of points over in that direction, uh, that gentleman here are for. So, I've never been in a place like Peter. this before, so I'm looking around quite astonished and uncomfortable. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, as you guys sort of look over and sort of take notice of this guy, um, 
uh, at the entrance of the ballroom, sort of in between the steps. Uh, I don't know how this always works, no matter how crowded a place is, but the tink, 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 <laughs> tink, 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 and suddenly everyone can just hear it. It's like the loudest thing. I, I don't understand it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you see Lord Richard Hayes. Um, you've seen him before. Uh, he's an older gentleman, about 55, uh, gray. His hair is, he was definitely a, you know, a, a handsome gentleman in his day. Um, his hair has started to thin, you know, the age lines have started to sink in. Um, I remember those days. <laughs> and uh, uh, there's sort of a, a hush falls over the crowd, and Richard smiles. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for attending. Why am I here? Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Strumpf. Uh, welcome. Uh, well, for dinner, for one thing, I, I suppose. I hope. Uh, everyone <laughs> in the entire place <laughs> is just like... It's like a record. Just uh, um, there's like a giant old timey record, <laughs> <laughs> and a hunting dog goes. Uh. Um, so yeah, this gentleman, you know, uh, cut to the chase. I like that, and so certainly we shall. But allow me the um, the opportunity to speak to my guests and wish them well this evening, and then you and I will pick up our business. That's a hasty one. Ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying, we're all friends under this roof. And as friends, I hope you'll forgive the insult that you're here for dinner with no dining room. And back then that passes as a joke and there's a polite like, ha 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 Why are you laughing? I don't know. Richard. So <laughs> please, their please let tradition go uh, for this just this night. Enjoy Stanton House. Um, Mingle, enjoy each other's company. These are dark days in our dear, dear city, and anything we can do to maybe loosen up and enjoy ourselves for at least a night. I hope that Stanton can provide. Thank you and enjoy your dinner. Sort of on that queue, there are servers walking around with food on plates and stuff, just sort of walking up to folks and serving and offering, and uh, people sort of start to congregate to these standing tables. Um, that are everywhere. If w one happens to be empty by the three of you. Well, I oh. gravitate towards that one. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, so do I. I'll also go that way. Excellent. Um, uh, a, a gentleman walks up and um, uh, offers uh what we'll call warm warm beverages. Okay. And, um, warm beverages. <laughs> warm beverages. <laughs> James, you get the distinct smell <laughs> of oh, oh dear. <laughs> of pumpkin for just <laughs> mm, okay. for just a moment. Well, it's a oh light full <laughs> autumnal beverage. And there is a moment. <laughs> please, there get, is, please get it away from me. There please. is a moment where um, a memory hits you that, that hasn't hit you in a long time, and it is. You and your son, and you are oh. in the countryside, um, and you are visiting a farm. You want your son to sort of learn a little bit about agriculture. You want him to be able to get out of the city. There's pumpkins, there's gourds. Um, it's just one of those moments that you're always going to sort of treasure and remember. Um, can you play that out for me just a little bit? Oh, oh. By myself? Or yeah, what that memory sort of felt oh. like your boy's with you. I'll be your boy. I remember him still. Yes, he was so excited, so. I had so many questions. And I wanted to share my traditions with him. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, my boy. I'm so happy we made it here. I'm so happy you got to see all of this before I have to go to the war. I've never seen this much land without buildings, Father. I know, it's real. It's all real. This is amazing. Yeah. And I pull up a giant pumpkin. I'm like, we can call this together. <laughs> but we can't. <laughs> we, we can't. I have a, I pull out a knife. We, I, we can't. I have a knife. We can't, Father, because I'm not here anymore. Wait. Wait, what do you say? What do you mean? You're right here. And you're right that. here. Steven. 
Steven! The memory's gone. St Steven! You're back in the present for just a moment. Roll, um... Oh, dear. Oh, my, uh, my boy. Roll for me. Um... Roll against your, uh... Go ahead and roll against your sanity for me. Oh, no, not my sanity. So, my sanity is it? to do... My D... It's a D10 and a... D your percentile, yes. A your your two percentile there dice. There we go. Okay. That's going to be... Oh, that's low. That's eight, 18. So oh. you passed? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. My, it's my sanity test, correct? Yes. Uh, which I'm... Yeah, I'm way, way past. Okay, that's excellent. Great. So, um... Cool. You passed, but in a game like this... You're still going to lose a little. There's no such thing as coming out of something like this unscathed. Yeah. So there's a moment where you are visibly sort of shaken at this table. Uh, to the point where the rest <laughs> of the table can probably notice. I, I, I apologize, please. <laughs> it's only a bit of cardamom. No, nope, I don't want to be reminded, please. It reminds me of... And I would ask you to uh, subtract one point of sanity, but... Uh, Mr. Al, uh, thank Mr. Al for a donation. He's uh, donated a little extra sanity to you, so that is going to <gasps> your oh. keep you at your max. Oh dear, I, your I, uh, boy. Yeah, yes, Stephen. Was he taken? Yes. He's one of the children that went missing. He was, yes. How long's he been gone for? A couple years. Years. Yes. And I haven't seen him ever since. I, I not even a trace. That was a la what were the circumstances of his disappearance? It was there. I, was, I turned around and I was making a delicious frothy pumpkin spiced beverage. And <laughs> apparently. And when I went back down to the porch, he was just gone. Just like that? Just like that. No, no sort trace. of anything. I couldn't find footprints. I couldn't find, I couldn't find any pieces of uh, torn clothing or, or any signs of him. He was just gone. And these... These reminders of him. Do you get them often? Are they always so intense? Sometimes worse than, than others, but once you lose the war, you're always reminded of him. So, some time's gone by. Food's been brought to all of you. Where has... Uh, where has Mr. Hayes gone in all of this? After he... He sort Spoke. of swept off. Uh, uh, thank you, Doomsday Danny. Uh, I uh, I sneakily tried to follow him. Okay. So let me bank this really quick. Um, I so don't want to lose sight of him. James, you have uh, sort of swept away from the group, and we're going to come to that in just a moment. Um Uh, Apollonia. Yes. Uh, go ahead and roll um, one d4 okay. for me. Uh, oh yes. Yeah. So d4. Use this one. Oh, this the fun one. Yeah. This All is right. a tip from <laughs> Doomsday Danny. The All nightingale right. symbolizes powerful love, but also swift death. <laughs> oh Jesus. Right. Hashtag insanity. <laughs> oh, that's a one. <laughs> Got a one. Okay. Um, what does that mean? So you uh, go ahead and remove uh, one from your total sanity for me. All right, and that would be the number on the left or the right hand side. Uh, that would be the number on the left, left. hand yes. side. Right. Mm. Yeah. Got um, it. So it's just a one. There's something about um, Peter's story, uh, a parent separated from their child, that just hits you for a moment. You know, nothing nothing wild. You know, you're not clutching your pearls and staggering right. and, or anything like that. But... It's that you're you're a little shaken. Um, I've heard you're a little touched. Stories. Yes. Yes. Going to cut to Peter. Uh, you are attempting to follow after Richard Hayes. Yes. Um, which is not difficult. He's he's walked into the ballroom, uh, the windows I described, sort of the very back. Mm. He's headed back um, in that direction. Uh, Mr. Penn, who you met at the front door, is standing yeah, so near him. Yeah, I like him. the smell of that one. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but they're just there. Uh, no need to track or search or anything okay. like that. They're there. The moment he has a second alone, I'd like to confront him. Okay. Uh, there's a moment where, you know, they've had this sort of uh, a bit of a back and forth conversation. Um, and at some point, Mr. Penn just sort of gives him a nod, walks away, turns, sees you, pauses for a moment. <clears throat> Mr. Hayes. And as Mr. Penn sort of looks back at Hayes, Hayes looks at you, Hayes looks at Penn, Hayes kind of just, it's fine. Mr. Penn, yes. not happy to see you, but walks past. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that little guy. So I'm just going to walk directly towards sure, Hayes. Sure, I don't sure. even notice him eyeballing me like that. Sure. Mr. Hayes, White. Uh, Mr. Strum. Uh, Look, I, I, I know who did this. I'm sure that's why you asked me here. Um, these these children that have been taken. This I, you, you brought me here because you wanted my... You, you want to know what I know, right? Absolutely. I mean, I I thought we would at least uh, eat, but if you want to have this discussion now... I kind of grab him by the arm and push him a little bit more to the side, away from the rest of the... Would you like to step just... outside? Yes. Uh, certainly, we can. Yes. He sort of opens a... There's a glass door inside the window, <laughs> uh, which he opens. It's sort of like one of those cool, little you little can't balcony. really see it, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the two of you step out to the balcony, uh, which is empty. It's... Um, uh, the sort of silent, the noise reduction is kind of astonishing. It's, it's quiet. Um, you just hear sort of uh, the silence, uh, the occasional bird. Of night. Insects, crickets, This nights. comforts me a lot. And cool. I calm yeah, down yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I, uh, you know, just calm. Calm. <laughs> calm peaceful, raven. Calm. Peaceful you know, that's, raven. That's, that's great. That feels, that feels really <laughs> calming. It's definitely not a nightingale. <laughs> I'm My sure boy. you know of what I've been researching and that's why you called me here but I am terribly uh, sorry once uh, again to hear what my your family's gone through well they're not my family they're my father's family I think he did this you think your father's taken your half brother yes I can't find him and I'm <laughs> I mean, uh, surely you have some kind from of what my mother's told me of him I, I I'm certain this is not beneath he he's trash he's a trash human being and I upon discovering that understand you have a strange his relationship son was his other son was also abandoned I, I'm sure he had something to do with this I obviously can't rule anything out. That's why I've asked all of you here. So every, every, everyone here is for the same reason. For the same reason. The police are either refuse or are just too incompetent to find any leads. And so the British Society for Anglican Deeds will do what they can what, to what, what, protect what Angli- their own what, what is this? A fancy name for a club, my boy. Um, a club that finds... Kids? In this case, yes. A club that feels it's the church's place to be more active in its community. The church. Um. You'll find I'm a little more liberal than the cathedral down the street. Right. You're safe in this house, son. Since it does seem we are cutting to the chase, um, Please allow me to collect my thoughts for a moment, and I'll have my man um, collect the rest of our honored guests. And wait, wait, you said I'm safe here. You and I get really uncomfortable, uh, and I kind of turn and quickly, kind of back away and in, into the dark, off into the corner. Are I, you okay, son? I, 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 I uh. <clears throat> I'm 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 sorry. I'll I, give you your air, uh, and we'll regroup in a moment. Take your time. Pen will be out for you shortly. But that sort of haze gives you a moment and leaves. He leaves you alone in the yard. It's quiet. And as you sort of relax, calm down. Um, I will think you I, roll? 
your spot hidden for me. Yes. That's a success. Okay, that's a success. Again, at first you're just focused on yourself, calming your breathing, exercises that you've trained yourself to do. I dwell in fields of green. And part of that is finding the comfort of this tree line. You're watching the tree line, focusing on it, focusing in, when you realize that something is watching you. I run directly towards it. You just <laughs> run directly towards it. Yes. So you you're focused in on this thing. Um, what uh, what 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 is your spot hidden and what was your roll? Sorry. Uh, my spot hidden is fifty and I rolled a forty three. Okay. You run directly towards whatever this is. It doesn't move. Ooh. And as you start to close the distance, you see a man, shape, tall, like tall. Um, but again, unmoving, doesn't seem to react. Okay. Whereas inside was uncomfortable and upset me. Mm-hmm. And this action, I feel uh, much better sort as I'm running green. forward. Sure. And um, I uh, I reach into my back kind of pocket and mm -hmm. I pull out my bone knife as I'm running. And okay. as long as it's still standing still and not acknowledging, I'm running directly towards it. Okay. There's that moment where you reach for that knife. Mm -hmm. And there's just that moment of, I'm focused on the knife. Mm -hmm. And as you focus back up, there's nothing. As you arrive at the spot where whatever you saw was, there's no, you, you've spent a good amount of time in the wilderness. You don't see any immediate signs of I close my trampling. eyes. I smell. Okay. I listen. Okay. Would you, would you roll your listen? I should have made that much better for my character. <laughs> <laughs> I um, definitely do not succeed that. <laughs> okay. And I, I don't need to use a reroll for that. You don't hear anything. Like, you don't hear anything. Oh. The birds are quiet. <gasps> There's not a cricket. There's just nothing. And then a moment later, you just hear from back across the yard the sound of Mr. Penn just calling, kind of confused. He can sort of see you way, you know, <laughs> you've now run past the gazebos, you've run through the past the hedges, past the man made pond, um, just off in the distance. Mr. Strumpf! Uh, Miss, Mr. Strumpf! Yes, little man. Lord Hayes is ready for you. He's ready for all of you. Were you playing a trick on me? I'm afraid I don't follow, sir, and nor do I have much of a sense of humor, so no. Likewise. <laughs> I sheath my knife and walk back up to the mansion. Great. Uh, as you walk back up, he opens the door to allow you in, and the moment the door shuts behind you, we are going to cut back in time, just a few moments, mm. to the three of you mm. back inside, socializing, <sighs> music, people, servers bus bustling around back and forth. I apologize. I, I didn't mean to uh, to startle anyone. I just, I just caught me off guard, is all. No, it's fine. Actually, it makes me feel a bit better to be in the presence of something with which I'm more familiar and not one for fancy parties normally. Uh, yes, you have to put on a put on a fake smile and yes. just try to blend in as best you can. My family is of somewhat 
prestigious standing, though some people think they're a bit crazy due to the fact that they're in the business of hunting the supernatural. But the, I'm afraid... The business of hunting the supernatural? Yes. Gosh, still here. But <laughs> <That's> I'm... <laughs> oh, yes, you're still here. You're, you're still here. Yes, perhaps <laughs> you've heard of the Hawthorne family. They've got an estate at Oxford. I'm afraid I haven't, uh, but I don't know that in my occupation I would cross paths with hunters of the supernatural. And say. your occupation is what? Mm. Eh. If I was a vain man, I would say poet and naturalist philosopher, but uh, I'm not so struggling artist and failed writer. Ah. Uh, rich kid looking to find his way. I see. Well, I am not fortunate enough to really partake in my family's good fortune. I'm afraid I'm just a poor country cousin, not physically able to do what they do either. Ah, well, here's to poor country cousins, and he sort of <laughs> does like a fun cheers, give you a <laughs> wink. Uh, it's at that moment, uh, Pen. Mr. Penn uh, steps up. Uh, you two have not met Mr. Penn yet. Mm. Um, oh, because Penn's new, yes? Yes, okay. Penn is new. Um, you're probably aware that he has new staff because that's your job. Mm -hmm. um, but you have not uh, yet met Mr. Penn. Sort of steps up and says, <clears throat> kind of gives Dodson like a look like, why are you having fun with these people? Like, <laughs> that's not why they're here. Um, as uh, Lord Hayes, L Lord Hayes will see all of you now. Excellent. Uh, I've had quite enough party time. Let's uh, yes. Let's move forward, shall we? Finally, let's get to it then. Excellent. Um, so he leads the way through the foyer, uh, through the library, where there, you know, sort of people sort of gathered here too. There are some folks dancing. Um, takes you to. Um, this isn't a hidden door, but. Uh, there's a, a wall that's just bookshelf except in sort of built into the built-in shelf there's a, a door frame uh, with a door there so it's almost like you're walking into a world of books um, <laughs> he opens that door and um, uh, gestures everyone uh, to enter is Dodson coming too? Is or is it just us? S sorry say again? is Dodson coming too or is it just us? uh Dodson is he just trailing us? Is <laughs> trailing you guys. Okay. I think uh, there's a moment where I, the whole group he's been talking to just left. And <laughs> he, Do yeah, Dodson is just uh, uh, following behind you. Uh, uh, Mr. You Dodson. Uh, Charles, please. Uh, please. Charles, do you happen to have the time? Uh, I do, actually. I was actually just um, about to ask that. Uh, it's uh, so... Uh, for you guys, it's uh, he's uh, it's about uh, uh, half, half past half past six. Uh, half you know, past six. Uh, about time to start half switching six. to port, if you ask me. I get that one. Um, the sun has started to go down. Uh, we have entered what I would officially call uh, evening tonight time. Um, <laughs> as uh, Mr. Penn um, sort of gestures for all of you to come in. Pen. All right. You again. Hello there. As you Whoa. enter, uh, it's a nice sort of sitting room. Uh, this is where this is where uh, the gentlemen would come for their cigars and their their brandy. Um, uh, Peter is already inside. Uh, hello. I, I believe you are also brought here. I haven't formally introduced myself. Uh, my name is James Cullen. Uh, uh, what was yours? Peter. Peter. It's a pleasure to meet you. You seem like. You seem like uh, you've been through some stuff. Why would you assume that? I can tell when someone has scars. And scars from war, sir. I get up really close to you and just kind of tower over you, look down into your stupid little face. <laughs> Stop digging. Okay. All right. Wasn't trying to pry. I was just trying to make conversation, is all. It's Mr. Cullen. He's not fond of cardamom. So I'm told that uh, uh, Lord Hayes, uh, quite a, a collection of brandy. <laughs> so Dodson's just over by the bar, like, just trying to, like, 
de awkward this one. Uh, anyone, uh, care, for, care for a drink? I told um, my glass. I've very rarely been in the, the, the sitting room uh, before. It's a, a beautiful, really? beautiful room. So you've been here before? Uh, just just a couple of times. Uh, Where uh, exactly did Lady you McAllister, uh, please. Thank you. Give you a smile. Where exactly did you say you were from, Charles? Oh, uh, uh, from the from the city, actually. Uh, born born and raised, London. But you London man. said earlier that you were floating in and out of social circles because you were new in town. Well, a man uh, uh, at a buff game. That's just because I just screwed up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I, I apologize, misspoke. Uh, uh, born in the city uh, originally. Uh, been all over. Father was. Uh, a bit of a traveling merchant. If uh, if he felt like he could make a profit, uh, you know, off of it, then uh, we traveled somewhere to, to sell it. Of course. Um, he passed away. I inherited a rather large sum of money and returned to the city as a, you know, a young man and just trying to find my place. Well, ask you, son. What do you what do you think of the local police department? Oh well, you know, obviously they're not doing. Uh, a lovely job, <laughs> you know, are they, uh, in, the, in this particular case. Uh, that's why, of course, uh, uh, that's right. Hayes has hired uh, uh, this group, I believe. Wait, and, hired um, all of us. and uh, Including including you? Oh, me? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I, I suppose, just uh, uh, taking up space until he arrives. And, um, and sort of from behind him at the entrance, uh, the door closes. Um, again, sort of separating this room from the rest of the party. It almost feels like, uh, you know, a com- the same house, completely different place. Uh, a little more sober, a little more stoic, uh, a lot less celebratory than perhaps outside. And Lord Hayes is standing there and uh, he says, and, um, and so I'm here. Uh, thank you, Charles. And uh, if everyone could please uh, take a seat and uh, we'll discuss the matter at hand. I'm... I'm thankful for all of you for coming and answering the summons. Yes, of course. I'll take a seat. I stand in the corner. I sit down. I sit down. Okay. Um, so, he takes sort of a moment uh, to pause. Charles is sort of just uh, standing over by the bar. Penn um, is at the door. Um, Hayes sort of takes his seat. He has a cane. He sort of is just... There was a man in the woods. Tapping it. Uh, excuse me. A, a man, man. A man in the in the woods. In the woods. And he kind of looks at Pen. Pen looks at him and just sort of shakes his head. Um, can you describe the man? It was very tall. It was dark. But there was a man in the woods. I mean, I suppose I can't say I'm completely su- surprised. I mean, even in the past few weeks, considering what I've said in public about our local police force, uh, a man of my stature has some enemies. Are you in danger? I believe we all are in danger. The local police op- department isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're bowing to the rich, doing things, n- not stepping up to the tasks presented by them because someone's paying them off to not to. Well... Let's speak about who is in danger. That sounds like quite a conspiracy. (laughs) It does. It does indeed. Um, Do you believe that to be so, Lord Hayes? That there's a conspiracy... uh, Are we not in the company of the rich? I believe something is happening. Um, I don't know that it is necessarily a class issue, uh, Mr. Cullen, as as you've said. Um... Uh, above game, I'm going to jump into some weird stuff. Um, it's so normal for people to talk about weird guilds and organizations mm-hmm. and stuff that they're a part of in London that you'll probably just yeah go with it. Like it's okay. It's it's like saying I signed in. Everyone to, was in a weird yeah. class. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. High school, I'm everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. a member of this Facebook page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah it's the, the equivalent. Is the Freemasons <laughs> okay. of yes. the Victorian yep. age. All right. <laughs> Let me explain what I know. Twenty-five children. Some you don't know. Most you don't know. One I do. One that you do. (coughs) And one that you do. And Mr. Strump. And I think me, but I really don't know. (laughs) (laughs) 
Are you talking about uh, above game? Are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about my son. <laughs> Let's make that way back. Okay, that's too far back. Okay, it's way very back. That yeah, all right, way all right. Back. Oh. But I like what you did. He also disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On a farm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. cool. But, During uh, pumpkin season. <laughs> but that is that is canon now. And while we're above game dashing CN hashtag phobia, um, if we can crank that phobia uh, donation from ten to with forty more bucks, if anybody wants to help out uh, dashing CN, give uh, Peter this hashtag phobia of shadows. <laughs> I think it will fit in really well with what just happened moving in the story. So let me know uh, if you guys want to jump in on that. Lord Colin, Lord Hayes, uh, continues. We've done we've done some digging. Uh, I have not shared this information with the police because, quite frankly, I no longer trust them to handle it correctly. But we do believe that a social club uh, here in the city is responsible for these kidnappings, as I know them to be. Social club. Uh, the Odd Fellow Lodge. The Odd Fellows. Yes, the Odd Fellows. Um, this would be hilarious, uh, Tapolonia, because um, about five years ago, the Odd Fellows were like the new hot shit in Freemasonry in London. Um. Uh, it was this new organization. They had um, their own ridiculous occult lore, you know, claiming, oh, they stretched back to, you know, uh, the days before Anglo-Saxons came to the island and this and that and the other. Um, it, they got very, very popular. Uh, they were very big. Um, it was sort of an open secret that uh, they were all wizards and uh, and practicing magic mm. and stuff like that. It was a, it was a very uh, popular, exclusive sure. circle to be a part of until it was very clearly revealed publicly with proof that their lore was a ridiculous false sham and it was just all total garbage. They were uh, tricking people that they were wizards and could cast spells with simple oh. parlor tricks. And, right. you know, uh, uh, so the, the entire, outside of a few true believers and just uh, quite frankly, sad bastards that don't have anywhere else to go. Uh, that cl I mean, just the decline, right. the right. the rise and fall right. of the Oddfellow Lodge. Shown bright for a second. Exactly. Nothing so back in game. The very same. Uh, as <laughs> what makes them so odd. <laughs> well, all right. They claim to be wizards, for lack of a better term. <laughs> Magic and spells uh, and just ri nonsense. Oh, you're not, the false you're not, things. Do you yes. suppose that they're not joking. attempting to reclaim their reputation for... As for motives, I don't know, but... What is it that makes you suspect them? We... Um, come in contact with the... Uh, a gentleman who can confirm those suspicions. <laughs> Bradley Burnett, thank you very much. Um, we've come into contact with someone uh, who can confirm those suspicions. Mm. A gentleman who was previously associated with the Odd Fellow Lodge. Who can confirm that mm. at least some of these children have been taken to the lodge. Really? Yes. Well, that's a good lead. Who is this person? And he kind of glances at Dodson, who uh, maybe had been waiting for his cue uh, and missed it because <laughs> he was kind of taking a sip. Oh! Uh, that's right. Uh, uh, Del! Uh, uh, my fault, I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, I mentioned I... I dabbled in a few social circles in, in London as I figured myself out and one of those was uh, the odd fellows. embarrassed to say the, uh, the, the odd fellows um, are you a wizard? New and oh god no sir god. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I can barely remember uh, what jackets I'm supposed to wear with dinner much less uh, what spell components summon uh, 
a snark or a gumpling, so... You're a member of society, and you can't remember which dinner jacket to wear. <laughs> a reluctant <laughs> member of society, right. I'll say. Um, a man I knew, uh, my time in the Oddfellows, a man named Joshua Dell, um, who I hadn't spoken to in years, honestly, and quite frankly, good riddance, uh, I realized very quickly, quickly that was not a circle I wanted to spend any time with. Uh... Well, showed up at my doorstep uh, several nights ago, just drunk and raving and um, about the vanishings and how he knew uh, who was behind them and that he wanted no part of it. And really, that's all I could get out of him. And so I, I brought him to Lord Hay. Did he, did he mention exactly who was behind it? Was it just the club or? Oh, well, he didn't say anything else to me. I, I took him to, to Hayes. He was pretty quiet. Whoa. Do you know my father? Was he a member of this wizard club? Uh, you... I... I, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, Matthias. I Matthias know. Darrington. Is he a, a member of this I, I didn't wizard mean, group? I didn't meet a Darrington when I uh, was Are in you sure? the wizard group. Are you sure? Positive. Uh, positive. That's, that, that's quite a name. <laughs> Would have remembered a Matthias Darrington. That I, I definitely didn't. Um, definitely didn't. Um... But, um, at this point, Hayes sort of takes back over, and, um, he just says, We've spoken at further length with Mr. Dell, and I can confirm that he believes what he's saying, and I think we are, uh, ready to at least look into the suspicions. I'm confident that, um... If you go to the Oddfellow Lodge this evening, you will find at least a beginning of a trail, if not the end of the trail itself. Well then, we should make haste. Yes. No? There what? are children who are depending on us. If this is any chance to lead, then we have to take it. Why us? This is a oh, fair question. This is a... We worked together before. A serious matter, and I don't know any of you. And yes. I don't know you, but I was referring to us to you, but but right. and I, but I know this room. If you, if only by reputation, uh, Mr. Stromp, and children, twenty-five children, and I wouldn't entrust this to someone I hadn't worked with before. No. So what do you want us to do? I want you to go to the Oddfellow Lodge and see what you can see. Are you implying we need to get our hands dirty? That's up to you. I don't know what you'll find when you go. You may find nothing, you may find everything. You mentioned, stupid-faced man, that there was some sort of conspiracy... Oh, is, are you, are you yes. referring to me? Look, you better cool your jets. <laughs> You're being a brat, boy. There are I'm sorry, children cool missing. Your jets. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that something the kids are saying? <laughs> I'm trying to speak his lingo. There are children What's missing. A jet? You don't. Is that? <laughs> is that a kind of fox? Yes, I'm not familiar with what a jet is. Is that Dodson again? Yeah, that's, Dod <laughs> that's Dodson. It's a it's a term. <laughs> My horrible David Tennant is always Dodson. <laughs> There are children missing. We don't have time for you to pout and feel Not shamed. Pouting. Yes, you are. You're you're being you're being brooding. I'm asking questions. All right. If the police are in on this, and we are to get our hands dirty, what kind of protection can we be granted? Well, the every bit of financial protection that the society can offer you, which. I don't feel that I'm a bragging man to say is quite substantial. Besides I'm the money... I'm not doing this for the money. I'm rather successful. I really don't need the money. I understand that this is personal for you, Apolline, and I'm honored that you're here. Truly. And I'm really only doing this because I'm tired of seeing law enforcement not stepping up to the plate, and I left because I, I thought I needed to set an example that I would want to see. Understood, Mr. Cullen. Understood. Well, Mr. Penn will provide the remainder of 
the details. Uh, please, after you conclude your investigation this evening, uh, return to Stanton House and let me know of your findings. And good luck to you. Honestly. If that's if that'll be all. He sort of stands. Uh, pen snaps to. Dodson stands. He gives Dodson a look. Starts to head out. Uh, Dodson. A uh, pleasure to meet everyone. Uh, 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 Lady McAllister. Uh, Lady Wayworth. Mrs. Trump. Mr. Cullen. Uh, whatever wizard. <laughs> Cheers. Cool your jets. And <laughs> 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 Dodson <laughs> Ma'am Next time The Nightingale oh, I'll have to work my way up For the amount of confidence it'll take to Thank you for the invitation Drop thank my you. name Thank you I will <laughs> Drop her name And <laughs> sort of Finds that hysterical I'm absolutely picturing um, him As David Tennant now By the way <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Good You definitely weren't going to With just the voice So I had to <laughs> Specifically explain Who I met um, jets. <laughs> so, is it just the four of us in the room now? Mm -hmm. But before we move, and Pen, but before we move forward, um, <laughs> Peter, yes, will you roll a one d four? Well, wait, actually. You are still. There was a man. You know you you know what you saw. No one seemed to take it seriously. You find yourself rising to your feet, and I apologize for sort of taking control of the character for a moment. You find yourself rising to your feet, and you walk to a rather large window that's in the sitting room, which also overlooks the same woods. You can mm -hmm. see where you saw the man. I know there was a man. And something something about this just does not sit right. And I need you to Oh man. Um <laughs> You see the shadows and the darkness in the woods. Sun's gone down, but there's still, you know, there's lighting, there's gas lamps outside. Mm. But there's just something about that tree line that doesn't feel welcoming anymore. It doesn't feel comfortable anymore. It almost feels a little more, a little stifling. And suddenly, there's a moment you blink, and you're not in that room anymore. You're you're back in those trees and there's just something horrible, unwelcoming there's no more music there's no more socializing <laughs> this tree line is like that I'm trying to just very subtly talk to the board um, <laughs> this is like that first night mm -hmm. that it happened mm -hmm. and I need you to Quarter. <gasps> Your oh. sanity. Oh, yeah. no! Damn. And I need you to roll that a d10 on that one chart. Yep. <sighs> Uh-oh. Thank you, Jay Pistol. Um, GM, that was a nine. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What is the current moon cycle phase that we're in? Current question. I'm going to say it is. It's a it's a new moon. But there's a moon out. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't necessarily affect whether or not this is going to happen, but yeah. maybe affects how bad it is. Can you yeah. use a reroll? But I'm going to say. Huh? Can I use a reroll? <laughs> you know what? Interesting. Let's do push this. You want to push this? I'd like to reroll with the Once chat reroll. Once you use one of our rerolls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Duh. Oh, yeah, we were I forgot those. that we have those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can absolutely 
re-roll. I'm going to use one. And these re-rolls do not require a push. Yeah. That's a seven. Okay. Which was... Um, um, okay, well, let, okay, that's... I think I know what that is. Uh, it's a good thing I'm outside. In your head, you were outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> Suddenly, that sort of flash, that vision ends, that memory leaves you. And um, uh, Peter Strumpf, will you, will you uh, set the scene for what happens next, please? Everyone in the room starts to hear me under my breath repeating, I dwell in fields of green, led by his hand I may drink my fill. From streams where few have been, though I may walk through death's shadowed veil, his presence calms every fear. His presence calms every fear. His presence calms every fear. And I start to grow larger. <gasps> and oh. my body oh, yeah. bones start to crack. Step back, Lutz. And you can hear the straining oh, no. of the clothes on my body as they start to tear. And my hand kind of slams up against the window. Everyone out! Uh, he, Get do out! Do, do as he says! Go! Quickly! We should blockade the door! Did you? What do you guys do? We had we had, oh, I head out. We had to. I'm heading out. I'm heading I'm out. Heading the hell out. I I listen to him. You heading out? <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm going last. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys. I recognize what he is, though. Yes. Y- it's kind of obvious. My clientele. You, you is have some. You have some decent guesses. Yes. All right. You guys, get out of this room. The door slammed behind you. Pen is already shooing people out of the library. Um, At this point, you can't even really hear what he's saying. All of this is something very intense has just happened very quickly. Um, What what can they hear? Uh, Definitely the sound of broken China. Uh, I would say the sound of what it almost sounds like a knife ripping through the wooden walls scratching Mm -hmm. and um, lots of commotion for sure breaking glass okay Um, any screams only my own okay three things are going to happen Um, Apollina I'm going to ask you to roll against your sanity okay so I'm rolling a Percentage dice. All of you yeah. have just seen something very bizarre. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. As well yeah, as a. Yeah, two percentile. Okay. And so then. yeah, so it's going to be uh, two percentile, which mm-hmm. are these. Okay. And that will form your, you know, your percent that Got you it. roll against. Okay. All of you have just seen something that you can't quite explain. What does this mean? Uh, that's going to be fifty-five percent. Okay. Yeah. And my sanity currently is it's seventy-nine. Okay. Um. You've. You haven't necessarily seen this exact thing happen, but you've seen some things. Right. Uh, you do lose one sanity point. Okay. <clears throat> oh, just one? Yeah, she just loses one. Um, I'm at 45 now, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do, you have to take a moment uh, to collect yourself, to calm your breathing. Uh. Lorna, you've just seen something that you don't, didn't necessarily uh, expect. expect. Um, your phobia, or uh, your sanity, thanks to Game of Joby. Yes. Uh, has also just quartered. Ugh. So I want you to quarter it. Okay, I need to do math. And then I want you to roll a check against that new oh, yeah. number. Let me. Oh my god, I haven't done the thing we feel most. Division. <laughs> okay. Uh, 65 Long divided by oh, yeah. 4. Okay, oh, so my. that's 16. <laughs> Horrifying thing of um, oh, Okay, so roll against that. Uh, this is a, a supernatural <laughs> thing, so I get a bonus dice. Yes, you do. So do I roll a bonus percentage then and take the higher of the two? or yes. Okay, cool. Or the lower of the two. Yeah, lower. The better, better the roll. The better roll. 
Mm, they are both failures. Okay. So uh, I would like to use a reroll. Okay. We have two left, two correct? Left. Yeah. Yes, with two uh. left. Um, nope. Dang. Okay. <laughs> My normal sanity score is pretty good. <laughs> We're going to come back to it in just a second. Okay. Oh, oh my. Oh, boy, thank you. Uh, we uh, Thank you, Super Lot. You guys have two more re-rolls. Uh, yes, excellent. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Super Lot. Uh, James? Yes, here we go. Um, okay, let me hang on. Let me take a look at this exactly. Uh, J Pistol donated and said, 25 children, a square number. The smallest square, which is the sum of two non-zero squares. Also a cullen number, a number that takes the form n times two to the nth power plus one. No. Math. So much <laughs> math. <laughs> um, James, uh, I want you to go. You're also going to have to quarter your sanity. Oh, and do a oh dear. So this sad. isn't going to come into play yet, but uh, you are going to add a general discomfort and phobia of numerology. Oh, um, interesting. To huh. your character. Huh. Um, by the way, Joe, you'll have to, when we do rerolls, you'll have to hit the button on the uh, screen. It's a touch yeah. screen. That's really bad. Oh, got it. Thank That's you. That's really bad for me. <laughs> oh boy! You don't like numerology or gourds. <laughs> oh, oh my pumpkins. god! Or gourds. Oh, yeah, my god. you are. I, I put a dollar. You're an interesting gentleman. <laughs> okay, so uh, roll. <laughs> so I quartered it. So uh -huh. I'm rolling. I had to and beat you're gonna that. roll against that. Oh my oh, god! No, it's like, really bad. It's like a thirteen point seven five. <laughs> So 14. Damn. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wait, what's this? What is that? Oh, is that a crit? That's not good. Is what that is a that? one? Uh, is, those, those if are, it's a 10, it's 100. Yep, that's 106. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll. Okay. I got to use yeah. a re-roll. I got it. <laughs> oh, my God. I got it, dude. That's insane. Okay. How yeah. many re-rolls do we currently we have? We have three left. Three left. Where's my other die? Okay. Where's my... Oh, where did I put that? Um. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's right here. Here we go. Eighty nine. It's oh! better. That's better than so anything over yeah. one hundred is a like uh, just a total fumble. It's like a one on a d twenty roll. Oh. Yeah. So that would have been horrendously oh. bad. That just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> 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 um, oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, now we have three re rolls, right? Here, yeah, we have yes. three re rolls. Um, okay, you failed that check. You sort of fallen into yourself for a moment. Uh, you are falling into what we uh, we call here at Call of Cthulhu a bout of madness. <laughs> this was too much. Oh no! You have never seen anything like this before. You've seen a lot of things. You've seen beaten spouses. You've fought. Uh, y you've fought gangsters, but you know something like this. You've never <laughs> actually uh, without really realizing what you're doing uh, you find yourself crumpled into a ball on the ground <laughs> you're opening your mouth to speak no sound is coming out which takes us back to Lorna yes who the silence right now I think everyone is just sort of stunned at what's happening and the last thing you, this yes. is happening very quickly. Like this one is happening right very, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Instantaneous, yeah. simultaneous, all of you. Uh, this silence breaks you. And you fall into just a full panic over this. Your cool has just gone from, you know, to an 11. Okay. You! That necklace you've got on, what's it made of? This? Yes. It's <laughs> copper? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Why? Pen is walking over as you two continue to talk. Why couldn't it have been silver? <laughs> I'm not a fan of still silver. Much more of a gold person. What in the... What, 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 are, what in the hell was that? Get him Pen, up. stay back. Get him up. Get him up. I, I, I've never seen it. I didn't quite like that before. I, I, I try uh, to lift him up. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. do, easily. I, 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 is that real? Am I, am I hallucinating? Did you, was that real? Was that real? There's no Hayes. pumpkins here. Okay. Well, Lord Hayes will certainly not be anywhere near this room. Uh, at this point, okay. Peter, mm -hmm. this is past? Yes. Now, I did... Uh, do my mantra. So, am I able to roll to see if I come down from this? 
You've come down from this. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, my. I open the door <laughs> slowly <laughs> to reveal my clothes tattered and ripped apart. <clears throat> you... I'm sorry. There was a man in the woods. Yeah. A man in the woods? You. The. You. It all happened Shall we go of find these kids? You were about to cease to be a man. What? Weren't you? What were you. What were you turning into? What? 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 what, 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 what did I just... We heard your bones breaking. What? And your you. Worst nightmare. What, uh... You're a lycanthrope. Uh, you... Aren't you? I'm here to find those kids. Like and throw up like I'll find you some clothes. Like a person who changes <sighs> during certain times of the month. What? When darkness falls. It's not are always you, like that. Are you are you in control? Are you in control of the transform uh, of uh, are you aware of what's going on in the transformation? I say usually man, can you Are you going to be able to leave this house this morning? Are you going to continue to blubber? <sighs> I, I get myself back up. Like, Scotch. Yes, hand me the bottle, please. Usually uh, it's... I'll meet you all in front of the house. Fine, but something here is... Something here is affecting me. You shouldn't be able to change unless it's a full moon. That's not necessarily true. So at this point, as you guys are sort of talking... Pen leaves. He's left instructions to meet him in front of the house. I grab my riding hat and my gloves. Okay. Quiet. Uh, do I have a, a, a pistol? Uh, second page. Oh, yes, I do. I'm I believe so. Or bottom of the first page. I apologize. No, it, I, it's a, a flintlock. Yeah, that's your pistol. Uh, and a nightstick. And a nightstick, yes, of course. And those. a billy. <laughs> <laughs> I grab my, my flintlock and... A small club night nightstick. Okay. Let's let's hurry. Okay. So everyone's sort of heading to the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have my uh silver dagger just like in my hand. <laughs> just in case. Okay. <sighs> as you walk, as you guys sort of gather and head to the front. Lorna, there's a moment. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time you have run from a space like this, from something you didn't quite understand. Help me paint this picture a little bit. Um, it's a tavern. Mm. Uh, you're with friends, familiar faces. Yes. Um, when what was a small birthday celebration turns to panic. There's something in a corner. A figure. It has taken a patron, a stranger that you don't know. Yes. And shoved them. Up against the wall. Up against the wall. And has sunk their teeth <laughs> into this person's arm. Yes. And your first instinct was to get your new friends, these people who get have in a short term have sort of become family, yes. these new friends. Get them away from this so they don't see exactly what it is, what's going to happen to that person. And as you run with these people, yes, it's a young woman, a redhead named Kelly, who you've known each other for a short period of time, but you already sort of feel a bit of kinship she's crying she's panicking yes and you're telling her that it's going to be okay yes and it's going to be okay and as you sort of step out of this moment you remember feeling like that was a lie and a violation of trust and I need you to roll Um, one, one D4. Okay. Two. 
Okay. You find yourself talking a lot. There's just something as you guys walk forward. The silence, the uncertainty. It, it, it. You can't deal with it. So, you've all been here a number of times. Maybe you could tell me about the previous times that you've worked with Lord Hayes. Uh, Apollonia, you can obviously tell that, you know, she's... she's Had a long association with my family. Broken. Uh, Yes. Broken. Uh, Is she gripping her dagger? Definitely. And sort of sideways glancing at Peter. Okay. I'm fine now. I just take one step back. From the group? And they've put me in these dainty little English clothes that bother me. Yeah, these are definitely um, from Hayes' wardrobe. This is... Yeah. So Definitely not you. Peter, you're not from around here. Where exactly is it that you've come from? South Carolina. South Carolina. The United in, States. Oh, yes, in the <laughs> in the yes. states, of course. And I uh, did you travel I was here? Born here. You were born here. Yes. So your family came over from the states then and you were born here in in London specifically or or just in the surrounding My father's still here. Arius, I see. I don't know my father at all. You were abandoned as well. Well, yes, I suppose that that is one way of looking at it. It was just, uh... I came here to kill my father. Oh. For what he did to my mother. As the group makes their way out to the front, um, most of the party has shifted um, to the ballroom. So the foyer is mostly empty. Naeem, I apologize. I just realized I've been uh, stress fidgeting with the microphone for the entire show. (laughs) I apologize. Um, The foyer is empty. The front lawn is mostly empty as you sort of step out. um, There is a a service driveway leading up to the side of the house, and that's where where Penn is. Okay. as you head in that direction, he checks his watch. Um, he does not look happy. They're late, but perhaps that'll work out in your favor. Everything that you just saw, and you're worried about a punctuality. I worry about Lord Hayes' business running smoothly. Yes. This man's hands are not clean. Is that so? It's my business to... Make sure things go well around here, right? Exactly. And that Lord Hayes' hands stay clean. Yeah. I assume you would understand. Yes, of course. We're here, aren't we? Yes. So he... (sighs) A servant's come over that's got, you know, a little brandy, a little port, you know, kind of whatever you guys need right now to sort of take a moment. Oh, brandy, please. Take a breath. Oh, please. Does Hayes have my special drink? Um, which is brandy, I think. Um, I was drinking uh, brandy earlier. Yeah, it was a specific... Uh, you can kind of... Penn doesn't react negatively, but he also... Out of anyone at this party, like, Penn just isn't kissing your ass, if that makes sense. <laughs> right. Um, it's just sort of very matter-of-fact and even-keeled with everyone. And just, uh, yes, man. And um, sort of sends the servant off to make sure he comes back with that. I uh, need food and water. You should give it to him. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. That's done. Um, a, uh, a pretty hefty plate of uh, a, a, a Cornish hen, uh, some potatoes, some vegetables uh, is brought out to you. Uh, similar to the plates that have been passing around that um, you know you didn't necessarily uh, get a chance uh, to eat earlier. So you are eating your fill. Um, enough time sort of goes by that whatever 
Whatever you guys saw, I mean, obviously, you're looking at this gentleman completely differently. But you've managed to sort of tamp this down, explain it to yourself, make peace with it, file right. it away for future use. You know, um, I'm, uh, I'm sorry you all had to see that. I put my dagger away at my belt. But he knew. Lord Hayes, Hayes knew. I've never met this man before, but... but he knew what you were. He knew. There's something he said earlier, so... I believe it would be safe for me to assume that... Some of us share similar curses. I wouldn't call it a curse. Okay. Just Ailments. Heritage. I didn't inherit this. <laughs> it was forced upon me. Poor James. Uh, what, 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 what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Poor sweet James. What do you say? What do you say? I'm, I'm just a police officer. I'm an ex-police officer. I'm war, war, war veteran. Are there secrets? That, are you all hiding secrets? Uh, you have no... Lady Wayworth, are you? I grew up without a mother. So as this that conversation is... seems we're all missing a parent. Uh, oh, yeah. If you are as well, well Mr. Cullen. Oh, yes, I, I've lost my parents quite a while ago. But yeah, Mr. Cullen's an older gentleman. Yes, uh, it, uh, you know, it, I'd lost my wife. Uh, and, you know, that's why my son <laughs> was, you know. Sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. I think my idea <laughs> for it was like a horrible flu. And that's why I love hyper RPG. Yeah. Because it turned into a It um, turned into a something pumpkin else. Incident. <laughs> a pumpkin um, incident. Pumpkin incident. So as uh, this time sort of passes, <laughs> it's enough time uh, for you guys to relax a little bit. I'm go right. ahead and uh, the if you've been hit by a quartering, um, yes. go ahead and undo that. Phew, okay. uh, you've recovered. So just it just goes back to the temp, the max temp. Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, and so now because I rolled the two, does that mean I lose two points of total sanity, or? Yeah, that's still gone. Uh, okay. Cool. 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 So I'm down by two. Got yeah. it. Um. So after a few moments, um. You see uh, a rather large carriage, uh, being pulled up. Uh, Mr. Penn sort of steps back out from the house to sort of come up and greet it. Uh, there is a man, very unremarkable looking gentleman, um, a little red in the face from sun, you know, sort of uh, just a life outside, not a drunk, you know, a uh, working man. Uh, there's a younger boy, maybe 12, who is his spitting image uh, sitting next to him in the carriage as the carriage pulls up. Uh, there's a painted sign on the side that just says uh, uh, the White Hair Carriage Company. <laughs> the White Hair Carriage Company. And um, uh, hair is in... Uh, Rabbit hair. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and uh, the man gives uh, Mr. Penn a wave. He's like, oh, hey, it's all late. Uh, uh Previous uh, engagement ran long. I had to pick someone up from a party. They decided they were uh, too drunk to leave, if that makes sense. And so... Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's no longer our fault. Exactly. Mr. Penn, Penn you were so obsessed with us being on time. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, uh, uh, so uh, Penn just sort of... Sorry, uh, my voices are terrible. That was the man in the carriage. Um, yes, uh, I know, but oh, yeah, I'm talking sorry. to Mr. Penn. Uh, and Penn's just like... Well, it's time, uh, you gotta move on, regardless of what time it is. Yes. Now then. Of course. Um, the order, I uh, will accept guests and visitors. It's not strange for you to show up at their front door and ask for a tour, or... I see. It's, it's fairly common. Uh, women are not allowed inside. At all. Women are not allowed. Women are not allowed, it's... So do you suggest that we dress in trousers and pass as boys then? I suggest you do what you need to do and not blame me for not living in a Sodom and Gomorrah society. Women are not allowed in these kinds of buildings and oh, you have that's no not idea. my problem. We'll see I about that. I prefer going with the women when the 
the, with the frail man. I'm quite capable, thank you very much. You wet yourself earlier. I did not wet myself. So that was a drink you poured down your trousers. I'm, it must have been something, someone else in the chaos. There must have been a drink that was flung somewhere. But it definitely, I've seen people die in front of me. I'm sure I can handle. I did have your you scotch. Regardless, you scotch. Return here when you've concluded your investigation. Understood. Of course. Mr. Pensor of turns and leaves and leaves you in uh, the capable hands of this uh, red-faced man. Says, "Well, uh, uh, well, uh, hey, welcome to the to the white hair uh, carriage, man. Thank you." You sure you want to bring the boy along? We're going to see wizards that kidnap these things. Uh, Regal's my name, and um, I <laughs> don't think I really understand any uh, 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 what you just said, mate, but uh, Daniel's probably seen worse. Um, than wizards that take boys. Again, don't know what a boy-taking wizard is. They're well, not uh, actually wizards. Is it kind of a fox? Just no. Be, just, just it's a kind of a person. Don't worry about it. They're not really wizards. It. They're not really wizards. Correct. No. Yeah. Well, so why am I so nervous about this trip? Then this is well, going to be Well, if one of these uh, wizards then uh, lays a hand on my boy, uh, they uh, won't see what hit him. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> quite comfortable carriage. Make yourselves at home, and uh, we'll be off. Yeah. Yes. Yes. As we're going, um, I would like to address uh, Mr. Strumpf. Uh, uh, Mr. Strumpf. Uh, you, you, so you guys you, are in the carriage yeah. now. We're sort of we're sort of off. You mentioned back in back when we were debriefing about a, a, a tall man you saw in the woods. Uh, were there any more details to him, or, or was he? What did he go? What did he just? Dis- he disappeared. So you were staring at him, and then he just disappeared. It's directly at him. Fascinating. I was going to gut him, but he moved. What, what do you think he would do? Did he? Did you recognize the face at all, or did you? Was it, was it something completely new to you? new. All of this is new. So do you normally run and attack strange figures staring at you? If they're standing in the woods staring at me, yes. Yes, I do. Well, I understand being cautious. You never can be too careful with everything that's out there. Short period of time goes by. Um, and the carriage comes uh, to a stop. There's a moment you hear Mr. Regal uh, step out, uh, step around, and opens the door. Oh, uh, wait here then. Um, and he points about, you know, three buildings down. It's just like, it's, uh, it's again, it's it's kind of you know what was described. It is a, um, it's not massive like. Um, you know, the Grand Lodge of the, the Freemasons is this beautiful, right. huge, I mean, it might as well be like a secular cathedral is, sure. the, is the best way to describe it. This is, I mean, it's not like a shack or, you know, a speakeasy or something or a tavern or whatever, but it, it, it you know, it, it, this used to be a perfectly fine building. Um, uh, it looks a little run down, but other than that, um, you know, there's nothing outlandish or that particularly like stands out to you. It's about three buildings down and Bill just sort of points at him. He's like, I see all fellows there then and um, we'll be here waiting for you, yeah? Right. And we're in the shadier area of town. Yeah! Yeah, I mean, you're not yeah. you're not like straight up like you're not in a full we're not in the like, boondocks, right? But taboo right. starring Tom Hardy, like <laughs> right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I do. Yeah, you're not in. Yeah, uh, okay. there there aren't bakers walking around going on their business no, or, right. or anything like that in this area. Streets are very streets are very empty. empty. Um, okay. Maybe a vagrant or two sort of stumbling around, a drunk, uh, people warming themselves, uh, a couple people homeless right. people warming themselves by fires. But I well, it seems that. We do have a problem at hand. What, what should we do? Should we, should we? You two take his clothes. Come in with me and leave him <laughs> out here. Well, there's no. one problem, which is he only has one set of trousers. Just wait. Is there a doorman? Is there a... Um, yeah. There's no one out front. There's no, no. one out front. Okay. No. So who's to stop us from entering, simply? Exactly. The direct approach. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, if things get rough, I can... I think we can handle it. You can handle yourself. Okay. Yes. Um, Okay, so the four of you Mm -hmm. um, 
walk uh, towards the building again. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing that makes this night feel any stranger than any other night, which is almost as strange considering what you've already seen, seen, heard, done. Um, so, uh, what do you all do for fun around here? I'm not from around here. What do you do for uh, work? I am a bit of a connoisseur of that which is considered to be not of this world, hence immediately recognizing your affliction. Uh, It's kind of my family's business. And what is your family's business again? Well... Hashtag crime the body of a young lad has been discovered in the countryside under a pile of flying fish. <laughs> Partially dismembered with his legs sewn open his shoulders and his arms sewn upon his oh. waist. The young lad's fingers have been split down the middle of each. That was very specific. Oh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, too um, bad we don't know about it because we're in the middle of the city <laughs> and <laughs> there's no such thing as email or news brief. So I guess that's going to go unseen and undiscovered for a while. <laughs> Maybe we'll happen <laughs> across it later. <laughs> uh, if a tree falls down on top of a boy in the middle of the forest, doesn't somebody happen. might find it thirty years from now. So Uber, that is not going to tie in right this second, but mm. that is I like this a lot, and this is uh, definitely mm. minus the flying in. fish. Part well, of minus the flying. <laughs> well, no, the flying that that S- uh, I'm buried strictly <laughs> under fish. speaking, my family are. I suppose the easiest term is that they are. Vampire hunters. <laughs> Good. Good. Fuck them. My family. No, the... Vampires. Okay. Those terrible beasts. Yes, they are terrible, I, I must admit. <clears throat> you know, I, I didn't know any of this was real until tonight. Uh, then I read about these and I always thought it was fiction. Yes. Amongst the more occult circles, my family's quite well known. I, I am, again, more of a distant relation, but... Have you said the family name yet? My family, yes. They're called the Hawthorns. You know the Hawthorns. I do know the Hawthorns? Yeah. All right. Yes, you do know the difference, right, between those with my Of course I do. I'm just saying, I... My family may primarily hunt vampires, but they are in the business of eradicating all manner of demon. Oh, well, maybe I'm not so supportive anymore then. So... (laughs) So you've arrived at the door. Um, here you are. All right. Closed door. Uh, here we go. Is it locked? I kicked the <laughs> door <laughs> open. <laughs> Doesn't matter if okay, it's locked. Great. I kicked the door open. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll. <laughs> there it is. Um, <laughs> uh, will you which, roll against you your like? power, please? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. So you guys have two rerolls left. Two more left. Great. Okay. Great. I will take anything other than a critical fail. <laughs> <laughs> that is a success. Better. Yes. Much better. Okay. Yes. Um. Mm-hmm. So it's weird how many like critical things we've rolled mm-hmm. uh, on this game because this is it's like a one hundred or a one. So that's <laughs> ridiculous mm-hmm. that we've done that like three times. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um. You guys are sort of, you know, that pause mm-hmm. before it's kind of like, well, what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. And then uh, Peter just straight up kicks the shit out of this door. It gives like it's nothing. Uh, mm. It gives like it's particle board. Well, shall we? I didn't want the direct approach. Are there uh, any boys in here? <laughs> okay, so you're walking in. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I walk in as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, you've walked in. Boys. I follow after. Boys. Okay. We're going to pause just a moment. Um, Apollonia, yes. will you please roll for me? Uh, skill check, will you please roll your spot hidden? Spot hidden. Okay. So, so it's going to be, you want to roll. Tell me what to physically roll. This is roll. the percentile. This is okay. the D100. All right. And then roll that with a D10. And okay. then uh, it's like the math. So yeah. So it's like, so that'll be uh, six, 19. That'll be 19. 19. Yeah. Uh, success. My spot hidden is 45. Okay. Mm. Nice. So everyone's kind of going in. There's a moment you sort of react to what Peter's done. I don't know if it's if it's an eye roll or if it's kind of like a oh, finally mm-hmm. something lively's mm-hmm. going on. Hmm. But 
as you sort of do that move, you sort of turn away and kind of, uh, <sighs> when something on the roof across the street catches your eye. Um, tall figure. Humanoid. You can't necessarily spot any distinguishing features, you know, just know that it's a man and at the same time, you just know that he's wrong. He's not right. No. He's clad in black. He's staring at me. He's staring down at the door. At the door. Not Sorry, in your area. In my area. So. You, antisocial ruffian. Do you Bring see out the boys! <laughs> Peter, is it? Yes. What do you make of that? So I turn and look up at where she's pointing. Okay. Um, there's the briefest of seconds where you sort of turn to gesture. Peter. Yes. What do you make of that? And she is pointing towards an empty roof. <sighs> I see the night sky. Favorite time of day? What are you getting at? Never mind. Okay. Is there anybody in this room? This room is completely empty. No boys, damn it. You are in um you're okay. sort of in you're sort of in a lobby. Okay. Um to the right there is a large sitting room with a fireplace. There's no fire. There's some, you know, uh, sort of nice sitting chairs and stuff sure, like that yes. where supposedly, you know, the, the boys would sit and, you know, have a cigar and it's talk a about their... It's gentleman's club. Yes. I'm familiar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is where they'd sit and talk about all the cool wizard stuff they were going to do or whatever. Um, Play games with uh, dice. Exactly. Is this the only room? Is, uh, is there another... There's a... Directly ahead of you, there is a stair that goes up and then a hallway... Well, a closed door... I've already said hallway. So a a swinging, not swinging, uh, just an open door that leads down a longer hallway. Oh. Um, May I use a listen check? I would you like absolutely to, can. I would like to, I guess, down the hallway first to see if I can hear any voices or, okay. or movement. Uh, go ahead and roll for me. Oh, that's going to be, <laughs> that's a fail. That's a 54. <laughs> okay. Um, Damn. Uh, you, what were you listening, were you like, I will. uh-oh. Okay, Shadow Piper has said, here's for my girl, Apollina, a re-roll. So you guys have just banked another re-roll. Another re-roll. Oh, yeah, actually, thank you very much. Thank you, Shadow Piper. Maybe he was the shadow we saw on the roof. Quite possibly. Mm. That is, <laughs> the, that is the twist. <laughs> <laughs> shadow Piper. <laughs> um. That is the twist. Of the uh, I'm specific. I'm specifically listening just for just for men to see if there are anyone. If this is vacant or if this if this is empty. Okay. Uh, you don't. You don't hear anything. Okay. Is is what I'll say. Either you don't. There's no creaks. There's mm. no. It, you don't hear anything. It's a little weird that you guys just kicked in a door <laughs> and no one is like rushing down here yeah, to mm -hmm. kind of hoping for a their door. fight. My intuition may be trying to fool me, but I, th I believe that the premises are cleared. Entirely empty. And we did kick down a door. Unnaturally empty. Say it all. So there's no boys here. Well, that there's we know, we do. doesn't seem to be anyone at all. I would like to. Okay, it's it's children. It's not boys. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, the vanished children. <laughs> I just like Peter walking around going, "Where are the boys?" <laughs> Um, if Mr. Sorry. Collins, I only know, I only know of the half brother. <laughs> True. Give Art. me the boy. <laughs> <laughs> if Mr. Collins' observation is indeed correct, I suppose we should just venture forward then, and we should stick together. Though we we don't know what, what looks. I, I, I've seen a lot tonight, and well, there's you know. there's three sort of paths that you sort of see immediately. There's the sitting room off to the right, which. Okay. 
You don't see like the whole room, if that makes sense. You sort of see the right. big entrance, and then it kind yeah. of veers to the left. You see this open door with a hallway and right. the stairs. Well, I get my uh, flintlock ready, and we might as well prepare for the worst, correct? Uh, of course. Uh, where, where, where to? Uh, probably we should start on the base floor, correct? Yes, the forward, because and make we don't want to. up. Yes, exactly. Because if there's anyone here, we did hear footsteps. I don't want to. We can cover more ground if we split up. He's not wrong. Are you scared, little man? I'm not afraid. I've seen a lot, and I am not a little man. I you were curled up in a ball earlier tonight, like convulsing on yourself. I just wanted to remind you of that. Yes, I, well, I'm quite aware of what had happened in my reaction, and I apologize. I may have overreacted. We've all been through a lot, okay, and we all need to work together. So if splitting up is the best choice, is the best course of action, then I say we, we do so. All right. Split up. Let's do it then. Excellent. Okay. Stay clear of the kitchens. Where's everyone going? It's pumpkin season. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to go down the hallway. Okay. You said there was like a hallway with another yes. door. Yeah. And a staircase. That's where I want to go. Staircase up, hallway forward. Hallway forward. Sitting room this way ish. I'll go to the sitting room. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I suppose I'll go upstairs. Okay. I'm going to walk around on the bottom floor and kind of tap on the floor with my ear against the floor. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's start with the sitting room. Okay. And that is Apollonia. Apollonia. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Gentlemen. Um, <laughs> again, no response. Um, there's no there's no light uh, we're just going to go ahead and do a small retcon that there were uh, small lanterns Gas sort lamps. of on yeah. the on the white hair uh, in a in you know just general equipment that mm -hmm. Ken prepared for you because uh, there's no light. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's this empty sitting room. Um, you sort of see. How's my vision in the dark? It's good. All right. It's good. Um, you see what is you know you been in houses like this before. Mm -hmm. um, yours is a much better version of it. Uh, you see sort of a servant's quarters beyond the sitting room where, you know, a guy would be sitting and just waiting for the tray for someone to snap so they could come in. And, um, and uh, uh, beyond that, you can you sort of see a kitchen. You don't sense any kind of movement uh, or anything of the sort. Uh, will you please roll for me? Yes. Um, your spot hidden? Spot hidden again. So and it's these two dice again, right? Because yeah. of your vision, <coughs> go ahead and roll twice, and oh. we'll go with the better the roll. The better one? Okay. So it's these two dice, Matt. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Can I roll these two? Uh, yes. Okay. And you guys have been so sane for mm, so long. A while. So 60 plus... 61. Okay. Correct. Got it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's... Okay. So if that, if that succeeds, then we can just go with it. Um, no. That oh, is not okay. A, nope. Oh, that's a good 11. 11? All right. No, is it a 10? Oh, is it a 10? Oh, it's... That's 101. Oh, oh, oh that's shit. even worse. <laughs> okay. That's even worse. No, so I'll go, I'll go with the 61. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you're... Oh, uh, zero is 100, correct? 10. No, 10 is 100. Zero oh. is zero. I am so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hopefully... Uh, so you're going with that, the, the 60 roll, which is still yeah. a failure, but not a catastrophic one. Right. Um, I mean, this is just this is just an empty room. You sort of feel... It's you unnaturally feel dark. In yeah, here. it's uh, it's naturally dark. You almost feel frustrated, like you were expecting something. You know, you guys have been talking about boy kidnapping wizards <laughs> this whole trip, yes. and you, there's just there's just nothing. Sarah, um, so we're going to move to. Um, Sarah. Uh, Peter, you're sort of just in the lobby area. Yeah, I'm kind of walking around, tapping to see if I can hear any hollow space between, the, like, underneath the floor, uh. with my ear to the fl to ground to see if anything taps back. Okay, so Ooh. you're tapping. Um, nothing, nothing really happens, but from your vantage point, you guys, someone, because. You're all mostly civilized people. Mm. 
Someone closed the door after you came in. One of you, one of you closed the oh, door. Oh, oh, one of us. One of us. <laughs> one of us. Okay. <laughs> you weren't raised in barns, except for except for maybe. Peter yes. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> but the point is, the door is closed, and as you sort of look up at the door behind you, it's just charred uh, mm. with black. And as you sort of, it catches your eye, and as you sort of stand and take a step back, it it almost looks like there was an explosion. Some kind of, sp- which doesn't process because are the walls on the floor sort uh, like a little well? a little bit of the walls on either side of the door like it's sort of okay. radiating out but nothing else not the floor huh just that i call for the policeman okay you've sort of started walking up I'll the steps walking up policeman uh, yes yes what is it uh, peter you have experience with gunpowder uh, i do I yes what, what, what is wrong what do you see what do you make of this and i point towards the door does that look like? Is it actually there? Work of black powder or something. It is actually there. Uh, uh, I would like. I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Try to rub it. It's soft. Mm. I you touch it and lick it. Uh, <laughs> that was gross. Uh, <laughs> that, nothing that, that bad happens, ashes or but something. it. Um, when you touch the wood, it's almost it. it it's rot. It it's oh. it feels like oh, rot. I don't like that. It tastes like rot. Oh. Okay. Uh, these are a, these. Are, but can you be a little more specific? Because these sure. might be tastes I recognize. Okay. Uh, can I can I roll? Let's see. Here's what I want you to roll. Okay. Or actually, no. Go ahead. Intelligence. And roll, go ahead and roll what you wanted to roll. Maybe intelligence or the occult. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and roll. Um. Both. Actually, no. Go ahead and roll your natural world and oh, your occult. World. So roll both. And Shit. whichever is the better roll is the roll that we'll take. Okay. Fair enough. And I'm we gonna, have I'm gonna three roll, re-rolls. I'm going to roll for my natural world first, which I know will not succeed. And then I'll roll my occult, which I should have called for that one because it would have succeeded. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. That was a critical fail. <laughs> well, that's also a very bad failure. <laughs> um, so how many, you, how you many used were, a re-roll? I did. How many are left? Okay. Two. Did I'm, you I'm did, have you tried some? to have you tried to roll both skills? I did. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more re-roll mm. for the occult. I feel like I should be able to hit this. Okay. Um, that's continually to I I can't succeed. This, so. <laughs> okay. Despite there so being a 50% chance, there's apparently no way to do so. You've, you've taken a bit of the substance, you've put it against your mouth. It's, it's all, you retch immediately. It, it, <sighs> all, it almost staggers you back. Oh. Uh, what, what are you doing? How badly. Oh. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. You don't know what this could be. This is definitely some sort of rot. Mm, no well, gunpowder. I, I, I don't know what kind of rot it is. I've, you know that it's not natural. I've tasted rotted flesh, and this is not that. You know that this isn't. Just like there's water damage. There's something. We're going to. I don't know what to make of this. Move uh, to Lorna. Yes. Down the hallway. I would like to try and track. Okay. People. Okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, we have a track skill. Do we? Yeah, not? we do. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and roll your track. Okay. I filled out my character sheet uh, horribly. I am going to use <laughs> a re-roll because I am a very good... Now, before you do... Yes. That is your last re-roll. This oh, is our last do re-roll. Do oh, it. dang. Just do it. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to do, do it. it. Just do it. Yes, that's a success. Worth it. Worth okay. it. Okay. So, you And I'm very specifically tracking people by the scent of human blood. Okay. I really should have that on my character. <laughs> for <laughs> um, for a house so empty, mm-hmm. 
now that you're really kind of trying to focus, you're on your own, yes. you're alone, you're away from this weird group that mm -hmm. you've suddenly been saddled with. Um, for a house that just seems so abandoned, uh, it feels like it hasn't been abandoned long. You don't get the sense that you don't smell blood in the house now, if that makes right, sense. Right, so there's nobody here. But recently. But you get the sense that the house is well and truly empty. Question mark? Okay. You're like pretty sure you're betting on there I, being I don't think there's anyone here. Right. What Certainly you do, not any humans. What you have sort of um, grasped onto, mm -hmm. which might be clouding that conclusion a little bit, Kay. is a particularly intense, older, but intense smell. It's a long hallway. There's um, it's about four doors on either side. They're all closed. Okay. Um, it's just you and your lantern. And there's just something about the last door on the right of this hallway. Okay. That that's where you're being led. Then that's where I'm going. Okay. Uh, you move down this hallway, uh, past the first door, past the second row of doors, past the third. At some point you hear um, Peter call for James. Um, at some point you hear uh, uh, Miss Wayworth say a girl's name. Mm -hmm. Thin walls in this house. Are there? <laughs> no. Probably not. You reach that door. It's closed. There's a knob. It's just, it's just a door. Okay. I'm going to put my hand on the knob to try to open the door. It opens easily. Okay. And you step into a dark room. It's a little larger. And as you hold up the lantern light, you see... Uh, collection of bunk beds. Bunk beds. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with your vision and since you've sort of come into this room expecting to see things, find right. things. Um, there's, uh, there's the odd toy on the ground. Uh, hastily made dolls. Um, a pillow and a sheet right. on each bed. Nothing else. Um, this room was full once right. of people and recently there were children here um, I can't tell you the age of the blood but there were right people yeah here. I can feel sense that people were in this room mm -hmm. not long ago right <laughs> um, I, uh, I call out uh, for everyone Okay. Uh, she's calling, you know, Colin. Colin. Peter. Lady Apollonia. I think I've maybe found something. Boys! And I come <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I follow after I'd them. follow where I... Uh, okay. Well, uh, you guys head down to the dark room. You enter this room. And yes. at this point, everyone has a lantern. This room is right, now so very well Right, so we set well it lit. down. Uh, you guys also see... Um, you see the bunk beds. Um... You notice uh, on the ground it fell when right. um, uh, when Lorna opened the door. There is a small padlock that falls on the ground that was on the outside of that uh, door. Oh, gross. Clearly they were holding the children hostage here. So the, it seems that the rumors were true. This is, this, we, they were here. They were. These are the people we are looking for. Presumably. Right. Or some... This Some of you know children who went missing, yes? Yes. Not personally, but yes. Well, is there anything in particular that might 
be of significance to them to prove that one of them might have been here. I know there were close to 25 now children that have gone missing, but... Sarah had a stuffed rabbit. This is a room where, you know, obviously you can triple people to a bed, but... Right. You know, this, uh, there's maybe space for 10. 10. 12. Okay. I start searching, uh, searching the bugs for, you know, the plush animals yeah. or whatever. I mean, you guys see some, again, you know, there, there are some toys, yeah. you know, scattered here and there. Nothing, um, Apollonia, not, certainly nothing that's been described to you as necessarily Something Sarah would important. have. Important, yeah. Okay. Um, well, the... If the boys but were there were children. I mean, it's, oh, it's not a job. The, like <laughs> the boys. <laughs> he got saying that. Too. There were, there were, you know, there were children <laughs> held here. Um, as you search, yes. Um, in a corner of one of the rooms, mm -hmm. in chalk, there is a rectangle. Behind the rectangle, what you assume is, you know, sort of just the, the rough stick figure of a man. And then above that, a, a kid clumsily drew this, you know, with chalk, but um, above that, there's what looks to be a, a sun. A sun uh, drawn. Yep, exactly. Exactly. This would be a lot easier for me if I was using my other form. I could possibly catch a scent. And <sighs> know where they've gone. Can I sense anything? Uh, my what would you like to heightened. try to do? Just use are my you? heightened senses. Okay, that's fair. Uh, go ahead and... <laughs> I want you to roll listen. You're, listen. You're listening. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Same two die here? Yes. All right. So zero, zero is... That's good. 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 Okay. Two. Hey! Okay. Oh, yeah. That's... Yes. That's really good. I mean, you just did a hell of a job. Um, <laughs> above you... There's just a floor creak. <gasps> That's all. Someone's upstairs. You heard something? Yes. The rest of no you got. Else? No. No. Someone's upstairs. I grab the lantern and I head. I, I follow. Okay. I, I ready my. I ready my flip okay. Who did that woman say she was again? She said she ran some sort of social club. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't Her believe that's all. Neither do I. I'm gone. Yeah, at this I, point. Okay. I, I already followed as well. Okay. Are you two following? Are you sort of... Uh, yes, oh, oh, we're I'll following. Yeah. Okay. Um, the group comes back down the hallway. Uh, Apollonia, you sort of beeline up the stairs. Um, as you go upstairs, this is... This is bedrooms. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, folks in these groups, they don't you know, live, there's no permanent residence, but, you know, if there are honored guests or people traveling from another country, often they're lodged there if you're on a business trip, you know, things like that. Or if you've gotten way too drunk for the last time because you're a stupid, like, wizard club and your <laughs> wife has thrown you out for a few days, you sleep it you, off at the lodge. Yeah. You step into uh, the bedroom uh, uh that you've heard this creak in. And your light shines on a face. Oh. Do I recognize him? You don't. Or her. You see a shock of blonde hair, blue eyes, and fear. Do the rest of us now see this? Um, I would say, James, uh, you do, because you're sort of next, you know, next up. Yeah. You two are sort of <laughs> a little further back. I'm does a it, little does slow it to get back. up there anyway. Does it look human? Does it look like it's... Yes, it's a, it's, it's a girl. 
Oh, oh, uh, is it a little girl or? Maybe, maybe nine, maybe ten. Okay. It's oh, oh my, my dear child. It's, Hello, it, dear. It's okay. Uh, we, everything's going to be okay. Uh, my, my, my name. Uh, my name is James. Can I'm going to turn these and are my friends. look in the direction she's looking at. Can I? She's, she's staring at you. Me. Um. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you, Super Lot. Um. She's staring at you guys. She's nervous about you. It's okay. I I, I put my gun. I put it away. Wait. What? What do you mean? I didn't sense the presence of any humans here. You. You were right in the gobsmack of the smell of that room. Okay. Which I, you were sort of focused on that. Okay. Which, again, like I said, you know, m- might have clouded the your total conclusion, but that's sort of... Got you, it. You were very focused on sort of... It's, o- it's, that o- it's okay. Room. Small oh. woman, have you seen boys around here? <laughs> <laughs> or other guys? Are you al- it's okay. I put my gun away. Where are th- Where have they taken the boys? She sort of stares at the two of you and stares at Peter and for whatever reason just like registers with Peter and just says there are boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> the wizards were taking boys and girls. Yes. Yes, yes we've, we've established, established that. that. What, what a, does, nobody shares these things with me. Does, I'm uh, looking does, for does a girl <laughs> named Sarah. You mentioned that? Yes. I wasn't listening. You will probably... Does it have mind effects on (laughs) you when you transform? That's my business. I have always wondered that. Anyways. (laughs) Okay, boys and girls. Young girl, what is your name? Sarah. Sarah. Also Sarah. It's a popular name. Not yours. Yeah. Why did they leave you behind? Did you escape? Are you taking me to the church? To the church? The church? The church downstairs. Oh, dear. There's oh. a church downstairs. <sighs> what can you tell me about the church? There's a church downstairs, and that's where they have church. It's smaller than where my <coughs> parents go to church. What happens in the church? Pews. I don't want to know what happens in the church. We can happen in the church. Uh, we pray, and then some of us get on a carriage. Are there people down in the church right now? I heard screaming. And Stephen had figured out that the door was old. And when we heard the screaming, we ran. Is Stephen here? I've not uh, met anyone named Stephen. Stephen, Stephen your Stephen. friend? I have not run into any Stephen. Sarah, you're very smart to run. You're very brave, Sarah. Were you taken by a man named Matthias Darrington? She just kind of like stares at you, like. Tell me, damn it, was it Darrington? I She's only a child. They didn't have names. Did you meet any they small said, boys that. I, didn't, I don't even know his name. He. There were boys and girls. Right. No, I, I understand <laughs> that. You ran. You ran up to this room, and they just left you here. There was screaming in the church. Is the church the right. room right below us? Is that the where all the the beds and the do they call that church? Or are you speaking of something else? No. No, that's yeah. a bedroom. There's something underground. And she points in the basement. Back how, downstairs. How do we get there? So the girl. 
I mean, you know, she's a kid. Like, she's kind of in shock and sure. Uh, she's just going Adults are saying, hey, will you take us to the thing? So, uh, you know, she's fairly pliant. And okay. Walks you back downstairs. She walks back into the hallway, sort of leading you guys. Um, she has taken Peter's hand and mm -hmm. is leading the way. I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the third door on the left she in points at in the hall. Okay. I kick it open. Wait. Okay. We have a child. Yeah, she's holding my hand. It's perfectly safe. Uh, you're now Superman to this child. She's... <laughs> um, uh, you walk into uh, a chapel. Uh, and you realize that all of these doors on the left just lead oh. into oh. different... You know, all lead into this this uh, one uh, large one room. one larger room. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's one larger room. Uh, it's with fairly lots of plain. Entrances. Yeah, with lots of entrances. It's fairly plain. There's two rows of pews. Okay. Um, Sarah. Pointing towards uh, an altar with a uh, stained glass sun uh, emblazoned behind it. Sarah. Can you show us where they you? took it? Can you? I know this is probably difficult, but can you show us what happened here? Help us understand. We would pray, and then some of us would get Take onto a carriage. And at this point, Peter, as she's sort of talking, you, you smell something bad. Um, it started to waft. It's been maybe a little bit of the back of your head since you came in. Okay. Now... But now that you've come into this room, this church, it's... Okay. Given my profession, mm -hmm. if this has anything to do with death, I would say it's something I have a pretty high chance of <laughs> recognizing the smell. You do recognize the smell. I'll just give you this. Okay. Um, it's strong in this room. Okay. And... You know what, Sarah? Why don't... Why don't you just stay here? She seems very unfazed by whatever this sort of smell is. I, 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 I kind of, Sarah, I'm sorry to bombard you with questions, child, but uh, we saw an image, and I, I think it has to do with the chapel here. Uh, uh, does the stage, um, does the stage have like, is it like a, it's like an elevated stage with like. Kind yes. of rectangular. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah, uh, it's just a small. And again, this place isn't altar. huge, but yeah, just cla very simple wooden yes. wooden altar. Who who is the man in the drawing in the in the bedroom? There, the man on the rectangle with the sun. She just kind of she doesn't know what to Frail how to answer that. There's, there's death in this room. Yes, I I have a I feel that this is not a good place to be in. Now, either my senses deceive me, or there's bodies somewhere close by. I, I want to check <laughs> the stage. I, 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 okay. I believe that there. I, I have a feeling there's something up there, or behind the stained glass. Like part of me wants to break the stained glass, uh, <laughs> but I won't do that. Um, so go ahead. And so you hop up to the yes. altar. Yes, I hop up to the altar and I, I It's guess. not hidden or disguised. There's uh, behind the altar uh, a trap door with a latch. Oh. 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 I'm yeah, standing back by the entrance with Sarah still. Okay. I, I, found, I found something. A door. Right here. Right by the altar. Yes. What? I'm in the back of the room. <laughs> <laughs> cool your jets. I found something. <laughs> I'm here. Well, that's more than a little <laughs> suspicious. It's a trap door. Sarah, do you know what jets are? <laughs> 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 I'm new to this area. Tell me, Is just that like a fox? Sure. I, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So you found this trap door? Yes, I, uh, 
I'm, I'm going. To, I'm going to. Op I'm going to open it. There we go. Okay. And I get my it my flint lock ready and like I'm gonna, okay. you know, okay. take my lantern, put it down, open the hatch, and it comes open easily. Um, and there is a stair leading downwards, but in the moment <gasps> that you open it, uh, it, it, it's not even him that can smell it anymore. Just the stench of <laughs> oh, oh. just rot and <sighs> corpses and death. To them, it's barely tolerable. Did For you, find, you. Did you find the bodies? For you. Uh, thank you, Soup a lot. I need James to oh, that's, that's roll one mm -hmm. d um, four. Oh boy, that's a four. Or I'm sorry, I, uh, I did that backwards. Yeah. So uh, for you, this is like a lot. You've it's got a lot, slightly enhanced smelling. You're cool. You're fine. I'm pretty. You are like you caught the brunt. Oh god. Yeah. Oh. So oh. I need you to roll that one d four. Oh. Again. Or what? Sorry. What did I you roll? I rolled a four. You rolled a four. Okay. Yeah, it's not good. Um, <laughs> okay. So it's the opposite way you usually roll. So I need you to. Uh, you're gonna lose four sanity points. Oh. This is and this is a uh, temper and death. Temporary. Okay. okay. Um. You seize up for a moment. <laughs> and just find yourself gagging. Um. <laughs> <laughs> as you sort of stare down, as you sort of regain a little bit of control, whether, you know, you're wrapping your faces or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've taken out a silk handkerchief and I've just yeah. covered okay. my extremities. Now, what do you um, I'm a little more comfortable around death, the dead than I am the living. Mm -hmm. um, and Rotten bodies are something I'm quite used to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Like, Sarah, just... I'm going to help our friends, okay? Can, can you watch Sarah? I go straight to her. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go up and go in <coughs> first. Okay. I'm following him. This is, okay. This, is, this place is evil. So as this death everywhere. Apollonia stands with this young girl and James, and Lorna, and Peter descend into the darkness. That is where we will end. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's episode of He Left It Dead. Dang. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank Woo. you guys so much for watching. Yay. Thank you for your donations. Um... This is right. We talked about this a little bit before, sort of when we were figuring out how to do donations and stuff like that, sort of talking about the idea of like letting everybody be a part of the story and build. And um, uh, even the really specific, like the crimes and stuff you guys have already added in, like this is this is perfect. This stuff goes in the story. It's awesome. I have this amazing page of stuff to start adding in um, from the musician all the way to the boy and, and the flying fish. Uh, you, we, you're going to add that in? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that goes in. Even Uber Baldy counts here <laughs> and he left it dead um thank you guys so much for playing yeah. dude uh, thank, you. thank you that was awesome that was so awesome and this we'll be back next we'll be week. back yeah. next, wednesday next wednesday at seven o'clock uh, to see what is underneath uh what young sarah refers to as I hope the it's church my dead dad <laughs> <laughs> also uh, bert will be here next week oh yeah, uh, yeah we, bert, we, we bert jennings will be joining us yes. next week uh, he, uh, uh, we gave him a night off with his family oh. tonight. His family came to town. Yeah. yeah, very considerate of us. Thank you the guys Jennings. so much for supporting uh, Hyper RPG. <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how much it means to be back at the table uh, <laughs> and, uh, is, uh, with you three and to be able to uh, uh, play with Zach uh, for the first time. This is super fun. Thank you guys so much yeah. uh, for tuning in. Uh, if you're a little like, there's a lot of weird Victorian traditional horror things and not a bunch of uh, Call of Cthulhu things. Um, this is the first episode. Yeah. So wait to see uh, where mm -hmm. we go. <laughs> uh, again, uh, 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 after this, tune in for Magic the Gathering. Zach, Mac, and uh, Matt Sohinki are playing uh, together. And I'm going um, to win. 
Zach's gonna win. He built and, my, uh, my deck. Not, so I built you a really good deck. Thanks, man. And I just want to uh, say, uh, let's review. Let's review and thank uh, the folks who uh, submitted real quick, Yay. and then I'll, I'll, I'll get us out of here. Uh, Superlot, thank you so much for uh, uh, digging uh, some more insanity uh, to James. We have a great place. A great point to start the show off <laughs> oh <my. laughs> uh, next week shadow piper awesome. thank you awesome. so much for the re-rolls you just Uber get body. face with pumpkin spice yeah. yes oh. Oh. <laughs> death and pumpkin spice <laughs> they um, just died of drinking pumpkin spice lattes <laughs> Uber body thank you uh so much uh for the crime of this uh of this boy that was found this very specific crime uh that will come in handy thank uh, you very much yeah. el pomino thank you so much uh for uh helping tip lorna uh towards insanity doomsday danny <laughs> also thank you for helping tip Lorna uh, towards insanity cool. uh, especially with the specificity <laughs> of uh, of the silence and, and yes. the issues with silence uh, mm. which I'd like to see sort of continue uh, through this that gives you a really fun thing to play Superlot gave us uh, another reroll Jay Pistol um, gave us uh, your uh, fear of numerology which hasn't come into play yet but it's gonna. Yeah. Uh, oh, so many dumb number things are gonna come into this game, and I'm so glad that that lined up. Um, game of Joe B uh, 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 added to that phobia for Appleina and Peter, and uh, and Lorna contributing to that silence. Thank you so much, uh, Bradley Burnett, uh, uh, tipping the phobias for Peter. Um, uh, sort of uh, uh, dashing CN jumped in on that as well. Um, Sort of giving you that that phobia of the of the shadows when you're sort of looking outside, which is what triggered uh, a lycanthropy transformation, Much which we were yeah we were gonna hold on to that for uh, a while, but you know yeah, in roll the with game, it. Yeah. roll with it, absolutely roll with it, and now no one trusts you. Isn't that fun? Yep, <laughs> um, really fun. Uh, um, I mean, I I could have rolled below a six and everything right? would have been fine. Yeah, but you know, two rolls in and you uh, know it's fine. Uh, Mel Pamino, uh, thank you so much. Uh, you gave, I noted this, uh, you have donated towards a, uh, a phobia for, for Apollina, uh, which did not come into play, uh, tonight. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, will be coming into play, uh, mm. next week. I know just a spot. It's uh, Doomsday lattes. Danny also, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Dooms and Danny donated to that insanity for uh, Apollina early earlier. Uh, Mr. Al gave James a little sanity. Look at Aww. that. Look at that. Uh, oh, helping nice. sweet. That was, James nice. that was nice. Uh, that was nice. Yeah. Uh, Arsenal Roy, thank you so much uh, for that crime of the local musician. Uh, that will not that just be a, awesome. a throwaway thing. That will uh, that will continue. Uh, Alumni Association, thank you so much. Um, uh, for your uh, for your re rolls, uh, Dave Row thirty one. Uh, <laughs> this group, uh, Dave Row thirty one, uh, totally not Gaia, uh, Keen four five six, Shadow Uzagi. Uh, all you guys donated to the pumpkin spice <laughs> thing, <laughs> which we were somehow able to turn <laughs> into a very sad it memory. Was really sad. Sad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which was so fun. Uh, Logan Pars uh, oh gave God. Zach some sanity. That was uh, nice. Thank you so much. Um, uh, yeah, God. Uh, Hawks uh, R&B also got into that pumpkin spice sanity. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, and I think that is, yeah, that is uh, where we stopped. Woo. Thank you guys. Thank you guys awesome. so much for watching. Stick around. Uh, we'll be back gonna, um, We're going to have a uh, Reddit. We'll make a Reddit uh, for this. Uh, uh, yeah. So make sure you get in there. And uh, yeah. All right. We got to wrap it up. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Woo. I got to move. Bye.